Hello and welcome back to Stars in the Dark. If you're not welcome back, if this is your first time, go back to the beginning. I always say that it's always true. Uh, I, yeah, um, I'm going to start by going through some wishes we had from last time, because it's been two weeks since we played last. So I just remind everyone of what it is that they actually want. Uh, so. Uh, Kai wanted to find out more about the headquarters and about Elliot's past. Uh, Steven wanted more PC development during downtime. Uh, Mark wanted to see what happens with Rosie, uh, the droid that you liberated, as well as the job you're currently on, which I will talk about shortly. And Rich wanted to explore KZ's attitude towards droids, which we talked a bit about trying to find what, what, where we're comfortable there. Um, so the job you're currently on is a favor to your handler, Rack. Um, he wants you to blow up the workstation of his supervisor, um, whose name is, I don't remember how I pronounced it before, but uh, uh, Kyle Cal is how I'm saying it right now. Uh, because he thinks that she is the one who has leaked information about the jobs he has sent you on, and that's why things have been going weird. Um, and he he's in, in time pressure. He needs it handled uh, right away, and, and he can't do it himself. Uh, and I believe your engagement role was a crit. Uh, I think you, you uh, at least you did really well. Uh, so he has let you in through like a, a sub basement level, um, and he's going to guide you some ways in. We will get to that shortly. But I wanted to talk about a couple of things with the crew. Um, first, I just want to remind you that you have recruited Tavi Cast, Tavi Cast. Uh, Kavi Kast, his name is, uh, sorry, Kavi Kast, as a specialist, uh, she's a droid, mech, droid mechanic. Uh, since she's part of the crew, you can use her during the job. Uh, she, You can flash back to, to her having done something, or you can have her show up somewhere where, where she's useful, um, however you, you're interested in doing that. She's independent, which means that you can trust her to, to make uh, decisions on her own. You don't have to micromanage her, uh, but she's also principal, which means she has some ethics and values uh, that she uh, will follow uh, in over uh, going. Uh, well, she will prioritize that over doing uh, what you want her to do sometimes. Uh, you also have uh, enough crew XP for an advance. Uh, which means you get to check off one box for one special ability, upgrade, or cohort. Uh, so if this is a thing that just has one box, you get it. If it has multiple boxes, you're part, part way there. Um, I figure we, we should at least talk about if there's something you, you, uh, you want to do now, uh, because it could be something that's useful. Uh, during the job. Um, Vault might be useful. Vault might be useful. You filled it up before. Um, with Thieves rigging or smugglers rigging, you could carry more equipment. I don't, did we set load for this job? I'm not sure that we did. If we didn't, you should do that now. Um, you could pick up an infirmary to help with healing, uh, since that's a thing that's been happening. Um, cover operation will give you uh, less heat. Mm. Money laundering will give you more uh, stash when you store your thread. 
Training upgrades is also one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You would be halfway to getting prowess training. Ooh, how does the training upgrades apply against the the step XP cost system? Uh, you gain extra XP. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. You gain. Yeah, no, it that shouldn't be a problem because you get XP for your right when you train. You get XP on that stat. Oh. Uh, your level just determines how many XP you need to to advance. Cool. Thank you. My vote would be like for vault or training. Get on it, but yeah. Open. Um. Although, if I look right now, we have training and insight, but in order to use it, we have to have a crew member with insight at three, which we don't have yet. Oh, look at that! Yeah. Um. And with insight three. I have an insight of four. Oh. Oh yeah, Casey had no. Uh. Yeah. I'm there. sorry. I was looking for someone who had three ticks in like study or survey oh, yeah. not i understand thank you so looking at prowess yeah kz has, KZ uh, has. Prowess of three so you can uh, can get prowess three. perfect oh and a bunch of stress <laughs> a gadget workshop might be cool too mm. mm -hmm. and you have uh uh Kavi counts as a, a suitable specialist. Uh, so you can. Might be cool. Gossip mongers. Plus one die to gather information on individuals. Take, taking less heat per score is also really good. I always feel like if you're going to take training, take it early. Right, mm -hmm. as an advance, because mm -hmm. later everybody's already kind of trained yeah. up their stuff. Yeah, let's do training then. That's where my vote would be. Cool, not for that. Perfect. Cool. Everyone okay with prowess training? Yeah. Cool. I will check off the first box there and clear your queue. Cool. Um, I think that was everything I was going to say before we get into the game. Does anyone else have something they want to uh, bring? So my memory tends to be bad between games, but I want to write. Down, I want to mention what I wrote down as our plan: sneak yeah. into Rax's boss area, bomb the shit out of the computer, leave behind Imperial incrimination clues, and run out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh. Do we have an idea of what those clues will be? We you talked about uh, like cybernetic parts, uh, mm -hmm. right? Right. Yeah. You yeah. Picked, yeah. You, you picked something up from from uh, um, the the droid. Yeah, um, sawtooth. Mm -hmm. Sawtooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it was an imperial wrist joint. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So let's get into the job. Uh, so Rack has let you in through a, a door in the sub-basement uh, that goes into the, the not, not exactly into like the, the deep service tunnels, but it's like a, a, a convoluted way. He, he told you how to get there. He has let you in. Uh, and now he is guiding you towards um, the uh, turbo lift that can take you up, or if you want want, want to take a different path. Uh, and he's visibly nervous. This isn't what he usually does. He's not a field agent. He's he's a, a pencil pusher. Uh, if there are pencils in Star Wars, there's no paper, I think, or generally Tab not. Tablet pusher. Yeah, tablet pusher. St stylus pusher, there you go. Yeah, 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 stylus pusher. Stacker, yeah, that... tablet stacker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a tablet stacker. Uh, so uh, he um, and and this is something uh, from from what he said. This is like very important for him personally. If this goes wrong, then he's he's screwed. Uh, 
and he, he, he says that pretty much as, as he's guiding you through there. If, if, if you don't manage to do this, either I'm right and she has been killed or I'm wrong and then I'm screwed anyway uh, because uh, I've set this up. Uh, I just hope you, you can you can get this done. Um, he's leading you through these, and these are like clearly disused uh, basements. There's a lot of like old junk stored stacked up here, like old furniture and filing. No, oh, sorry, they wouldn't have filing cabinets, of course, but it's old furniture, uh, disused uh, computers, and uh, that sort of thing. Uh, dusty, dark, dank. Uh, all the nice uh, D words, uh, and he's Thanks. leading you <laughs> uh, up uh, up some stairs to the, the second basement level, and then uh, up into um, he he's guiding you up towards uh, the lobby. Uh, the the turbo lift don't go down here. Um, and he, he stops you just before uh, you go out, uh, or, or you have the option of going. I'm not sure where the guards are right now. I, I can get you this far, but I, I'm i not going to be any help uh, to you in here. Uh, I think you should take it from here. It's three floors up, and he, he tells you where, where to find it. Uh, her office. You see, three floors up, uh, straight ahead. The the office in the back. Um, I think as we're going through this area, um, you said old disused computers and stuff. Yeah. I want to look around to see if there's any old disused lab coats or uniforms or anything like that that we can use to disguise ourselves. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, what do you want to roll? Mm hmm. Let's see. That's probably a survey, which I'm bad at. So that's fine. Um, and uh, you could use study if you're better at that, probably. Mm -mm. Um. What about the devil's bargain? Um, anyone have a suggestion? You're looking um, for what again? Lab I'm looking coat, for uniforms. Right? Uh, uniforms or lab coats or something like that. So at first glance, we wouldn't be stopped. Like if we're grungy and come in off the street and look like we're yeah. loaded for bear, it's going to look weird. Um, The, 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 there could be name tags on the lab coats that could be amusing and a, a bit of a potential danger. If we I was it. thinking yeah. something obvious, some obvious damage to the lab coats, like, you know, there's a burn hole in one spot or something like that, that on closer inspection, you know, would immediately say that it's a problem. That feels um, more like a, a consequence from the role to me. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, um, like the the devil's bargain is something that whether something, we find it or not. Yeah, whether whether you find something or not, this is going to happen. So, um, um, so whether so, whether we find it or not, uh, we have to ask someone for it. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you mentioned this to to Rat that you're looking for for some kind of disguises, uh, and what he tells you is that oh. Um yeah, you could get some. They're 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 over there, but there's a uh a droid who, who keeps track of, of all of that stuff. So you have to talk to him. Uh yeah. Um that sounds great. Um yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna go talk to the droid mm -hmm. and um, since I'm I will go to... with you. Fantastic. That's great. Yeah. Since we're he... going and talking, go ahead. 
uh, he, he's like behind the counter. He's, it looks kind of like uh, one of those uh, bartender droids. Mm -hmm. uh, so he's got a bunch of arms. Just on the <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's 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 on a like on a on a track uh, behind the, uh, the desk there, uh, and clearly. There's not a lot of people who, who come here. It's it's dusty in here as well. But he has these little um, cubbies behind him with with different types of of uh, clothing and, and. So in that case, I'm going to use command, and I'm going <laughs> to walk up to the droid, and I'm going to tell him, "Hey, Chip Brain, we need four of those things back there, four of those lab coats right there." So. Of course, sir. Uh, right away, sir. Uh, so, make it roll. Yeah. We got your extra die from the Devil's Bargain. That's two dice. Uh, oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. That's about... Okay. So that is a three. <laughs> uh, of course, sir. Right away, what? sir. Uh, may I see your uh, requisition, sir? I turn to I turn to Elliot. <laughs> um, so, how how uh, what kind of requisition do you want me to give him? Long barrel, are always good. Long barrel or yeah. short? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, sorry, I, I should have said uh, position and all of that. I think you're in a mm -hmm. in a controlled position here. Um. So you can try again with a risky position, or you can withdraw and try a different approach. But, mm -hmm. but I think uh, what it seems like you're, you're pushing for uh, Elliot to do something risky. It, it it's up to it's up to R Elliot. You know, do you want to retry it again with something risky, or do you want to um, withdraw and say, "Oh, we forgot it back there. We'll go get it and come back." I can try it again with something risky. Okay. Um. I will go around to where the droid is. Mm -hmm. um, and I've got my S comp link now. So I'm just going to like pull out the thing. Uh, or it's probably a and uh, get in the back of his neck and command him <laughs> from there. Okay, um, go ahead. And I have, a, I have plus one die for that. Nice. And I will help you. By nice. looking intimidating. Yeah. Uh, so that's three dice then. Uh, cool. I'm just going to go straight for that. So it's risky? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's risky. Okay. That's a five. That is a five. You do it with a consequence. Uh, the consequence here is that. Uh, he will uh, store this interaction in his memory, and it will be part of, of a like a, a report. He prob probably doesn't make reports that often because mm -hmm. it doesn't happen a lot here. But but it's logged. Next week or so, within the next week, uh, he will file uh, file his report of of the interactions he's had and mm -hmm. the requisitions that have come in, and this will come up there. Fortunately, um, I'm an Imperial assassin droid, so he'll get logged as an Imperial droid commanding him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I think what we see is while you're doing that, um, and I see the little log thing indicate on the screen, I start yeah. patting myself down for like, uh, surely we've got like a thermal detonator or something I can, you know, leave here so that it that it covers things. And then I think you're like. As an imperial droid, I'm telling you, and I'm like, oh, and I yeah. stop. Yeah. This is extra evidence. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Cool. Yeah. Uh, what what kind of uniforms do you want? Do you want guard uniforms, or do you want something like a, a standard, uh, like bureaucrat, uh, administrative? Thing, or do you want different for, for different people? Um, I think these are in disrepair. That's why they're kind of down here in the you know in the junky area. Um, they're out of use, so maybe they're out of date. Mm. 
Um, uh, and I, I should say, like, you, you've got a standard standard effect, so I don't think they're going to be obviously uh, bad. Right? Like, like you have you have useful. Uh, the, these uniforms are useful, um, but I, I'm more interested in, in what kind of of uniforms you you want. So the the only two, so the three of us that need uniforms are Winger, KZ, and myself. I think mm -hmm. Elliot walking through is fine. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe so, I'll take uh, the the bots like ID tag or something. Oh, so if I need to identify myself as an employee <laughs> here, that will work. And Casey, what kind of uniform do you want? It doesn't make logical sense to me that a stormtrooper uniform would be around, but maybe the black um, sans big helmet security. Remember that this is a, a New Republic uh, facility. Oh, oh, right, right, right. Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. It's, it's so stinking like KZ would think. Um, <laughs> oh, so this could be a low-end worker, like a dock worker kind of uniform, or it could be an officer uniform that was sitting down for repairs. Mm. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. You guys remember the Mandalorian episode where uh, there was the guy in the blue? Here, I'll just show the picture of my old... Yes, I know who you're talking about. The yeah. guy in the blue? Yeah, I want this. Mm -hmm. I want this ah. right here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I love that. So I'll take, blue uni, I'll take an officer kind of uniform. Mm -hmm. Um, What about you, Winger? Um, like a tech, some sort of thing. Like, I mean, I often enjoy tech. It's easier for me to play one. Uh, oh yeah, that's yeah. perfect. Cool. Uh, so you get these uniforms. Rack is visibly stressed out that you're taking the time to do all of this, but he also knows that you're the pros. You you know how to do this. Um. So yeah, he, he impatiently waits for you to to uh, change your clothes and and get ready, and then he tells you everything where you need to go, all of that. He is clearly intent on leaving all of that all of that to you, and he's going to get the hell out of here. Basically, leave the way he he left you in. And I I think I'm going to lean over to Rack and tell him. Make sure you have an alibi. It's very important that you are seen during this period of time so no one suspects you. Yes. Um I'll be I'll be at Hadley's home. It it has a place to be. Yeah. Uh, if nothing else, it's at the docks. So if things go south, maybe I can get out of here. Invite a coworker to go with you. Or get into a fight. Uh, yes, I, I, I'll see. I, I'll see what I can do. Yep. Um, yeah, and then he he scampers off. So you know you have to go uh, three floors up, um, and you know where where at that on, on that floor the the office is. Um, yeah. What what's what's the next? Turbo lift. Yeah. Or to, to get to the turbo Star Wars lift, turbo lift is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, to get to the turbo lift, you have to go out into the. I, I said lobby, but it's more. It, it's like a reception area. This isn't like open to the public, but there's still like a a, a place for where, where visitors can come in. And, um, you don't know if it's guarded. Uh, he or. Sorry, uh, Rack has told you that the guards patrol, but there's there's no one like sitting guard at the door because the doors are locked. So there's no reason uh, for that. Cool. So you go out there. Um, let's let's have a roll to see how how well you uh, navigate through this up to the through the turbo lifts uh, that whole thing. Get to to the floor you need to go to. Uh, group action, probably. Yeah. Uh, Is it a prowl? 
Raoul is uh, well suited for this. Who wants to lead? I will lead it because I get an extra die when I lead a Hunter Prowl action. It's nice. So everyone roll Prowl. Start with three dice. A three. <laughs> yeah, that's one stress for you for a failed roll. Do I get stressed if I fail myself? Or is it just other folks? I think, I think you get. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you eat it. Cool. I'll eat you got it. a four. I got a five. I got two. Bigger. Oh, five is uh, uh, the best. So four is five. <laughs> that's too stressful um, for me. Two stress for you, and this is risky. Uh, so you do it with a consequence. Farm complication reduced effect for your position becomes, or actually, you should be in a controlled position because you you got uh, a really good uh, mm -hmm. engagement role. Uh, so I think what Rack has told you is like. He has given you a rough outline of the guard, the, the patrol schedule, so you know where to, uh, roughly how, how you should move to, to avoid that. So this should be a control uh, uh, role, which means you can either withdraw and try a different approach, or you can do it and suffer a minor consequence. Um, minor consequence. Think, yeah, uh, minor complication, reduced effect, lesser harm, or your position becomes risky. Um, I think in this case, it would make most sense to push your position to risky. Um, like you, you make it through, but with this delay with getting the uniforms, uh, you're not quite sure where, where the, the guards are in their schedule because he had timed it so that, oh, that you will get here at this time. I will let you in. You can just step, go go straight to the turbo lift and go up. But now you spend like ten minutes talking to a droid and changing clothes. Mm -hmm. uh, so so you're you're a bit off on the schedule. Um, so your position will be risky because you don't know as well where where the guard. Uh, but you can resist that if you want to. Um. Yeah, I'll resist it. Why not? Um, so I'll be resisting with two dice. Ooh, Ooh three more stress. <laughs> well, you wanted fault, so there we go. <laughs> oh yeah, we're we're cool. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> uh, how do you think you you get back on schedule or figure out where the guards are? Um, maybe like since I, I think I just hustle everyone through. Like, I I don't get nervous or tired, so like, got to keep on schedule. Everybody, move here, move here, move here. Wait, go, 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 go. Cool, cool. I'm gonna, like so make up for those you, lost you minutes. Make up the the lost time in, yeah. in, in moving quickly and efficient. Cool, yeah, I like the that. stress comes with these meat bags. Trailing behind, <laughs> one, one stress from each of you. <laughs> cool. Uh, so you are on the right floor, uh, and this is uh, an office. Uh, <clears throat> it's fairly. Th th there's like a, a bunch of little cramped offices um, with uh, standard Star Wars uh, doors. Um, it's not very well lit, but there is some like one step up from emergency lighting um, that, that, that turned on. Um, and you, yeah, you, you know that you, you have to go through like, go, go straight ahead into the back and the, back there is her office with her, her workstation that you need to uh, get rid of. Um, and you know there are no guards on this floor at this time, but they will show up here at, at some point. Um, 
getting to the office, that shouldn't be a, a problem. Um, obviously, her door is locked. Uh, there's the, the little keypad uh, there, so there's some sort of code or something. Uh, how do you want to get inside? Do you want to blow it up? Do you want to uh, hack the, or slice the lock? Uh, there are uh, there, there's equipment for this if if you uh, if you want to. I can. I mean, I can lean on my link again and slice it. With my spike. Cool. Is that cool yeah. with everyone? Yeah. Yeah, I think that that's the best way in. I'm gonna tick off my slicing tools and help you again. Cool. Cool. I have I have a couple in Tinker, and I think that you know helping you with slicing, I'm doing I'm like your co. Yeah, co-pilot. Yeah. Cowboy. Um, cool. That's gonna be three dice again. Nice. And that's five. That's a five. So and we're still in controls. Yeah, still controls. Okay. Cool. Uh, which means you can either uh, withdraw and try a different approach, or you can do it with a uh, consequence. Um, That's your, the consequence, I think. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think uh, the fact that the the door has been opened will be registered in a, a computer somewhere else. Mm -hmm. uh, so they will know that that someone uh, sliced their way into uh, uh, into the office. Yeah, let's go ahead and resist that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's gonna be two days for that resist. Ooh, two more stress. Getting up there. Yeah, you're wrecking it up. Yeah. Um, yeah, so go in, delete the logs. Yeah, yeah. After you. Cool. Uh, so uh, this office is obviously a little bit larger than the others, but it's not, not huge or anything. It's still fairly small. Uh, there's uh, a workstation, like one, one of those half circle uh, sort of things. Uh, with a bunch of different computer panels and, and, and yeah, stuff, computer stuff, uh, and a data port and and uh, all of those things. A couple of different screens. Uh, it's not uh, turned on at the moment. Um, yeah. So you wanted to use some sort of explosive, I believe. Yeah, I think an explosive on a timer. Or on a yeah. specific switch. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So here comes a question for the group. Do you think we plan this to be an explosive that blows up after a certain period of time? Um, where we have, we only know when it's going to go off, but not who will be around? Or do we set this up like a trigger on the door? I like the way you think. What do you want? I like the trigger on the door myself, but... Uh, that means it's likely to either kill or or injure um, whoever opens the door. Snitches get stitches. <laughs> um, I could see it hurting. Like this isn't supposed to blow up the entire room. This is just supposed to destroy their records, right? Yeah, but you need to thoroughly destroy the the, the workspace. And it's like the, the, this is a pretty big solid thing. It has like that solid mm -hmm. it's 70s kind of. Look. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Maybe they're like like thermite charges that sit on top and just like burn down. Ooh, that's cool. That's what I was thinking too. Um, when, they that open, look... when, when they open the door, they just see the computer. Okay. Get... <laughs> I like that, but remember our cover. We don't want it to just be the desk so it blowing up this entire room oh yeah 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 makes a lot more sense for imperials so mm -hmm. i think you're right we'll have to risk whether or not it damages them or not um i yeah. have an idea okay. yeah um are we during normal work hours or after work hours 
this is during the night. You're you're in the middle of the night. Okay. Um. So maybe there's this moment when, like, third shift, like, uh, wise, or or whatever, like, there's the least amount of people in the building, and so the building will cycle down to a lower energy mm. profile. And when that cycle occurs, that's when it goes off. Like that's the trigger for it. And that's got the least amount of people in the area. If we're trying to save bodies. Um, that's what I was thinking is that there might be some electric trigger for when there's fewer yeah. people around. Uh, I like that idea. I think like it, it's probably at that lowest level right now because this is when there's no people that here. Makes sense. But you that could set sense. it to trigger when when the power goes up again, mm. uh, which would happen like an hour or so before people start arriving, uh, so that everything is like running uh, at, at full full power when when they arrive, because it takes a while for everything to to uh, start up. So long as that doesn't mean that if somebody came in between us leaving and that time starting, they wouldn't be able to see and undo what we or like witness it before it goes off. That could happen. Uh, it's because... unlikely since you, you you stop the 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 slicing from being recorded. Mm -hmm. So if you go out and close the door, there's no record uh, that anyone has been here. Other than uh, the 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 droid in the uh, in the basement, and that droid isn't due to file their report until sometime later in the week. So mm -hmm. if someone went down there, talked to the droid, and figured out that oh someone is here in the building, and they started going around searching room to room to room, yeah. I was thinking I was thinking more like the boss showed up to work early or something like that. Yeah, that could happen. But then clarification: she... These are Imperials, correct? These are a New Republic, well, right? Oh, New Republic, but former Imperials. Yeah. So I just want to know what boss shows up early in this uh, beer car <laughs> I think we're fine. Yeah. And she'd okay. have to show up at the the equivalent of like five a.m. or something. Yeah. Uh, so it okay extremely unlikely. Not She's before. already wasting her life if she does that. So it's may as well. <laughs> Okay. And I mean, yeah. you could do a, like a dual trigger. So. Yeah, double trigger it. Yeah, yeah. A backup uh, trigger. That's a bit more yes. complicated. So there's, uh, there's a bit more risk, but uh, you could. Are we just kind of thinking just slightly ahead? Are we intending for them to know that this office was targeted? Or would it make sense to blow up a couple other ones at the same time? Or, like, maybe it causes like a uh, a feedback or something like that. So, other machines on this floor on the same energy grid mm -hmm. or something okay. like that. What about if the what, what floor we're on? I think you said the third. Is that right? Yeah. And how many floors are above us? Uh, a lot. Like yeah. the, this is uh, all the buildings here are like you, you have these huge. Uh, it's like ten, twenty more floors. Yeah, I was going to say what what happens if we look like we're trying to bomb the floor above. Yeah, yeah, I love and it, that. And the office above smashes down into this one to destroy it as well. We we look like we're in net, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but. Imperious. The, yeah. The thing is that you need to very thoroughly destroy this particular workstation. Mm -hmm. So just having the floor collapse on top of it is probably not enough. You probably right, so we would need to do both, like do the primary charge and then yeah. do one to cover it. Yeah. Yep. Uh, of course, this is also uh, the your your employer. Uh, this is their offices, like the mm -hmm. people you are actually working for. So the more you destroy, the the worse it is for for them. Uh, because I mean, if, if you knock out all the all the workstations on this floor, that means that all the the legitimate work that gets done here will also be destroyed. Uh, which they deserve you a day off, about, yeah. but but Rack will care about it. A bit. But I think, 
I think you're right, Elliot. We need to really make sure it doesn't look like just this one place was covered, right? Was targeted. Cool. So you want to set it up so that it, you you destroy something more, at least. Um, you can do that. Um, that's not a, a huge issue. Um, Are we using demolition tools to do this? I assume. Um, demolition tools, that's more like, um, what did I put in the description? A heavy sonic drill, a sledgehammer, and a oh, okay. That's more like smashing stuff. Right, uh, right. If, if you want explosives, I would say that that's probably, you could do it with, uh, let's say, a large, unusual weapon. Uh, mm -hmm. If you check that off, that, then that could be a, a solid uh, or a big explosive charge. Who is the best at setting explosives? Would that be Rook? Um, so I would think setting explosion, uh, explosives, would that be Wreck? Oh, yeah, Wreck. I was thinking Tinker. Wreck, but... uh, it could be Tinker, depending on, on whether, on, on kind of how you want to. Uh, mm. uh, so I'm going to suggest that Wreck might be setting the explosives, but Tinker might be setting up the wiring like the timer to go off when we want it to. Yeah. So maybe sense. maybe you do the primary one and then the rest of us each grab one to kind of like head off in a random direction and set it to go off around the same time and then yeah so so yeah uh, let's do it like this uh, a tinker roll to set up the the triggers um however you you want to do those uh and then a separate rec roll for each charge uh you want to set does that make sense i don't i don't care if it like actually does damage. So even if it's just a, it doesn't matter if it actually wrecks it or not, as long as it just goes off. Yeah, but I think this is to uh, to set it up so that it looks like it was intended to do some, to do damage, if that makes sense. Oh, yeah. Is that... Could be wreck, could be something else if you... That might even be a sway. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, because it, it's it's deception it's, essentially, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, it's not I definitely not this way, but it's, it feels like it, it's more deception than actual the actual effect of the yeah, that's explosion. True, that's, I mean, uh, I don't know what that would be? You you could. I mean, you could if if you're if you do it in a way that it's like, oh, this is, was clearly a, a statement or something. So yeah, mm -hmm. sure. If you want to roll sway, you can absolutely do that. I mean, I'm no good at sway, but that's. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I think like one roll for for the for the timers uh, or or trigger one one roll for the triggers and then one roll for each charge. Um, yeah. And I think like if rook, it sounds like you 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 are intending to set up the 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 triggers, or does someone I'll, else want to do? It? I'll so set I up think, the triggers. Yeah. So one person is working on the triggers. And the others can each do one charge. So uh, like the the center one is like the, the the detonator pulse, and the yellow ones are keyed off of that. So they have like yeah. transmitters or whatever. Cool. Um, actually, or that that's one way to do this. Or we could set up the whole thing as a clock, um, and then mm. we'd have different clock for for like the guards doing something but but i feel like that's over complicating it that's would it make sense for rook to lead a group action on it a group sure. actions kind of almost guarantee success so there's mm. less risk of it that failing. sounds good to me <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, for a group action also everyone needs to roll the same action yeah. But that shouldn't that shouldn't stop you from doing this as a group action. That means that Rook is kind of coordinating, and, mm -hmm. or, or whoever leads the the group action is, is coordinating. That doesn't have to be Rook, uh, but what one person is is coordinating and leading, and and uh, then everyone is is doing their part. Doing this as a group action makes sense to me. Um, okay. What do you think, Rook? Um, it's either way. Um, I would suggest that this is a group action 
this might be a prowl to find and get into the right places in order to mm. set the explosives. So I guess the question is, is where is the risk that we want to see from the dice roll? Is the risk that we would be found out while we're doing it? Or is the risk that we didn't set up the timer or explosives correctly? And I think that's, to me, that would determine it. More like the first one, right? Okay. So then I'm going to suggest a group action. I'll lead with Prowl in order to set things up correctly. Yeah. So and not be that, seen while, and found out while doing it. Yeah. So I think this would require you to have like prepared the charges and all of that beforehand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, which I think would be like a one cost uh, flashback. Uh, so one person who, the, the person who prepared the charges and set up the triggers beforehand, uh, that person placed, placed one stress for, for a flashback. Who who did that? Is it Rook or Winger? Did I would you? have done that. I would have done that. Cool. Because uh, later on, I can get this ability that says... Um... Your first flashback during a score costs zero stress, so mm. it's built. It could build towards that ability, yeah, yeah. the fiction of it. Yeah. So, and I think this is like Winger, you and Rook and Tavi probably working on this together in in like the the headquarters. So, what 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 does the the, the setup look like in in the headquarters where where you would do this? Sort of? So I imagine there's going to be like, a, a, I don't know what the substance would be, but like a glass box, you know, a, a, a C3 box. And we've got like gloves and we're, we're assembling things. And, you know, that way if something goes off, you know, it's just going to, it'll stay contained within the, the box itself. Um, and, you know, just a lot of talking while you're just like the, the instructions that, you know, we've set up are just like, projected somewhere like there's actually there's like a little uh one of those little holographic things and it, it you mm. know it's rotating and showing you like here and here and stuff like that and it's kind of like a knit and bitch you know we're just like you know soldering circuits and flipping things around and doing things and just talking and you know you know how about that razor blade game or something you know just stuff like that um kind of a like a an emotional uh, antithesis to what's going to happen with these things, right? <laughs> like a very very mundane, relaxed uh, conversation mm -hmm. while you're. That's what I was thinking. Off. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, I see that we're ten past the hour, so I think we should take a break here before we get cool. into this, uh, this exciting. Uh... Cool. Uh, we're back in. So uh, you have the charges. Uh, we're doing a group action to set everything up. Uh, we're talking about using Prowl because you're focusing, because you, you have everything prepared from before. Now you're just trying to, to set these up without being uh, noticed. Um, so you're setting one charge in, this, uh, in the office, the, the target office. Um, and you're putting the others, do, do you put them like in other places on this floor, or are you going up to the next level like you talked about, or or what's the what's the general plan? How how much do you spread out while you're doing this? I think I would like to set my charge onto the desk with the droid that we talked to earlier. <laughs> oh, you're going all, all the way down to the basement. Yeah, yeah, may as well spread it out a little bit. <laughs> okay, okay, cool. No witnesses. No witnesses. Yeah. So everyone who wants to set a charge should, should check out their large unusual weapon is what, what we landed on for that. Um, assuming you have the load for it, but I, I don't think anyone's going with a light load on, on this, right? A large unusual weapon. Yeah. Two checks. Got it. We need to roll the group action as well, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And I'm going to, so I'm going to uh, push myself um, in order to get an extra die for the group action. I can do that, right? Yep. You, you just can't aid each other because you're right. all doing it together. Anyway. And um, this is going to be a prowl. Yep. Okay. 
I'll push but myself as well. Four. It looks like KZ got a six. Nice. Five. Cool. So everyone succeeds. Uh, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the best role, so there's no stress, and the best role is the six. So nice. you, you do it. Uh, nice. So we have one charge in, in the office, one charge with the uh, requisitions droid. Uh, where else do you, do you put these charges? You have two more charges. Winger and KZ, where do you want to put yours? I'll put mine on the, um, like a circuit box to cause a, uh, like a Around. surge. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Hmm. I guess I'm just trying to envision it. Uh, this is a computer room or just a work office? This is a work office with a, a, a big computer station. Okay. Well, we've already got the computer from, station from, covered. From how Rack has described it, that the, the other offices are probably similar. Okay. And we're trying to make this look like uh, we're not great at this, so maybe... Uh, in an area that will burn through like we talked about. Mm -hmm. So maybe on a sus, uh, on something that will give way. So a table of some kind. Cool. Like in the, in the lobby or wouldn't be a lobby, but where, where the, the elevators, the, the turbo lifts come up to this floor, there's, there's a, a kind of an open area. Uh, with with uh, nothing super important, is that the kind of thing you want, or do you want it to be? Yeah, it's going to be a big mess. Like Kizzy's considering, like, should I make it look personal? Should I make it? Mm. Nah, I think I'm just going to put it here, random place. Mm -hmm. Like maybe it was supposed to blow the the turbo lift, but it was placed in the in the wrong. Mm. Yeah, let's do that. Cool. Yeah, so you have uh, set the charges. I think. Think I'm going to do some kind of roll, or we need some kind of roll to see if the uh, the triggers work properly, but. I also think that's not something you're going to know beforehand. So depending on whether you, because you've set it to to trigger either if someone like touches one of the charges in the in this case, I think since you want wanted it for for the door, um, or when the when the building kind of powers up uh, in the the early morning. Uh, so the question is if you want to hang around to see if the explosives go off or if you just trust that everything's going to work uh, work out the way you planned and leave because there's like three or four hours until this is supposed to go off. I'll babysit if y'all guys want to hand out, head out. So you think you um, want to hang out like across the street or something? Um, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't want to be caught here. Yeah. Um, but I'll, uh, I'll mark off like whatever equipment I need to like have set up across the street to monitor it with like, you know, the equivalent of binoculars and things like that. And then, you know, have left the, uh, still have access to the lift. If you need to leave like, the, uh, droid bar. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, everything it's... I need to do to make, make the, the final bit pretty, um, so, I mean, anybody's welcome to stick with me, but it's going to be listening to Winger's stories for three or four hours. So, <laughs> beware. Now, my whole job is wow. to get away, guys, so I'm going to be getting away. Mm -hmm. So, legit. I where do you think we should leave the Imperial wrist joint? Um, since we've run into this droid, I think we put it down with the droid with the requisition stuff. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Okay. Uh, so you leave that part there. Winger is staying, like, find, finding some place to hold up 
like across the street to to see that everything goes off properly. Um, yep. Everyone else takes off. Yep. Yep. Cool. So I think we need a roll for the the exfiltration to get out of there without being spotted, avoiding the guard uh, guards and so on. Um, you're still in a control position. Um, so do you want to do this as a group action, like you're you're all sticking together, helping each other out, or is it everyone goes their own way, so we make separate roles? What do you think? Mm, maybe separate roles is better, so we have multiple points of exit, so it doesn't look like a big group leaving. Mm -hmm. You have your, your various uniforms and all of that, you, you, so you don't need to... Uh, no one, no one needs to cover for for anyone else. Really, it's probably Elliot who sticks out the most. But you're already down in the basement, setting the the charge with the mm -hmm. uh, for that drawing. Yeah, you probably don't need to make a roll to get out. You can just exit through the uh, the basement. Cool. But I think uh, we should have roles for for everyone else. So, if you're Sneaking out, that's probably a prowl, or it could be something else. If you're like talking your way past uh, past the guards, uh, if you run into them, that could be sway or something else. Uh, so, how do you each want to do this? I'll start with uh, start with KZ. Uh, <clears throat> he's decent at prowl, but that would be three prowl rolls in a row, which is boring to me so I think he is going to try to talk his way out of here mm -hmm. seeming cool deception disguise and a little bit of sway that's what I'm doing yeah. cool. you've got um, the uniform and all of that you're in a control position um, yeah you just want to roll it straight up uh, got any devil's bargains um, I mean if you stop and talk to some guards, they're probably going to remember what you look like. And and yeah, there was this guy here. He had a uniform, but I haven't seen him before. Mm. Sweet tats. That's true. <laughs> I am noticeable. All right, I'll take it to get a second die. Oof, a second die got me a five. Control position. Uh, yeah. Uh, control position, so... Withdraw and try a different approach, or do it with uh, some minor complication. Um, I think the minor complication here is um, they will, when they make their report, uh, they will have noticed that your uniform was a little out of date. Uh, so they may make the, they, they, they will, sorry. Uh, and doing this in a convoluted way. They will make the connection that the, the uniform came from the, the storage in the basement. So that there was someone here who, and they can describe you, but not in like detail. You had the helmet and everything, so they, they can't see, uh, but, but they will give a general description of you um, and that you were somehow, uh, that person was somehow involved with whatever happened. Okay, you can resist uh, that. Uh, they will be they they will uh, be able to give a, a rough description of you. That's just part of that. That's the devil's bargain. But the fact that they they make the connection to to the the old uniforms that's the, the consequence that you can resist. I don't feel comfortable resisting at my current stress level. <laughs> Actually, that'll get me a trauma, and we're, oh, yeah. we're heading out right. Yeah. Oh, oh man, I was gonna make the, I was gonna make the statement of like, well, his his outfit was out of date, but I, you know, it still checked checks out. out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's an older uniform, but it checks out <laughs> exactly. Resist, oh, I got resist, a four. Resist. Oh man, look at that! Right on the borderline, Woo! two Woo! stress. I'm down to one left. Yeah, I resist that. It turns out that I I moved a couple. I know this. The New Republic's just like the old Empire, so I just move a couple things around, and I happen to stand in profile when the camera sweeps by, so they can't tell. Cool. Um, taking a note here. Cool. 
So uh, Rook, how do you get out? You have the officer's uniform. Right. I think I'm actually going to um, wait until there's a, a maintenance crew, and I'm going to order them as they get out, as they're leaving the building, and I'm going to use command for this. Mm -hmm. Um, and I will push myself to get a second die. Ooh, having a lot of stress there. Um, let me roll that. Ah, oh, I got a six. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so there's a maintenance crew. I think they have been like working on some of the, the computer stations on the uh, on the first floor. You run into them. Um, what is it you you? Uh, how, how do you throw your weight around to to uh, uh, get out of there without drawing attention? Yeah. Um. I you know look at my uh, chronograph and I'm like, you guys aren't off the clock yet. Get busy doing this, and I tell them, you know, you know, update this system and go repair this thing. And as soon as they get off the clock, you know, I say, quit in time, and we all head out together. <laughs> nice, uh, cool. So, Winger, you're in the techie uniform. Yeah. Um. Sorry, I was thinking about like doing a study role from my part but yeah get to get out of the building um i'm just going to rely on my my intuition my instincts mm -hmm. um cool. and uh you're gonna move out that sense? way huh you're gonna roll sense yeah yeah cool. i've i don't get to roll it very often so That's a six. <laughs> I'm trying to get my character into trouble, and I I can't. <laughs> Not today. Not today, at least. Uh, I I guess I intuit my way out of there. Yeah, no yeah. yeah. You uh, you have uh, enough uh of a your your intuition how to avoid whatever guard patrols would have have intercepted you. Like, oh, bad feeling. Better just. Stay here a little bit, and and you, they they march past, and you can flip out. Nice, cool. So you are waiting on the other side of the street. Um, I don't think that's too difficult. Like you're in a uniform, so so you can look like you 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 uh, have something to do there. Uh, so I don't think that's going to be an issue. I think I just want to roll to see uh, if. You have if, for for whoever is responsible for stepping up the the triggers. Um, so sounded like that was Winger or maybe Rook who was Winger. You want to do that? Yeah. Cool. Um. So let's see here. Had a Tinker or are you thinking something else? Yeah, Tinker makes sense. Um. So this was setting up during the flashback. Yeah. No, this is yeah. setting it up now. Yeah, e either way, this is the the important part is like be, be, this could be something you did during the flashback, so you can get aid if that if that's what you're. Uh, oh, I hadn't thought about that way, but yeah. Did anybody? Was there anybody knit bitten chin, uh You know, soldering mm -hmm. and slinging. Yeah, no? I did. Okay, what did we so talk I'll about? I'll help you. Or did um, you just have to bear my incessant talk um so i think you had the uh hol the hologram up of how to build the the explosives and all that kind of stuff and i'm right. the one that walked in and i said oh wait, wait wait and i pull up the same kind of book but from an imperial uh instruction manual so it looks like the explosive were made by imperials um 
so that we do it slightly differently. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um, if I had to say, like, I imagine the New Republic is more about um, uh, bureaucracy and the Imperials were more about just get it done. So I'm betting that the, the Imperial one is more efficient, but also more dangerous. And the New Republic's got like redundancies in it and stuff like that. So that makes this one like e even extra like sweaty to work on. Um, <laughs> all right. So that's two six sided dice. Mm -hmm. I got a four and a three. Cool. So I think this is still. I think this is risky. Uh, okay. So that means actually, um, could I push it to desperate for another die? Um, you could. Yeah, yeah, sure. Let's let, let's do. That. Well, I mean, I already know I've got a four. Uh, that's kind mm -hmm. of a a poopy thing to do. I'll, I'll stick. I'll I'll think about it next time. Yeah, um, cool. but yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. You you could have pushed it to for for increased effect, but not for. Oh, effect. yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Cool. Um, um. So, <laughs> what happens? Yeah. Um. I think. So you do it, which means it it goes off at the right time. Uh, explodes the way you wanted it to. Uh, but there's the comp I think the complication is that you are nearby when when the explosion goes off, they need people to help. So there's like the the guards running out and they point to you, you there, uh, because you've got you've got the techie uniform on. Like we 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 need help. There's there's been an explosion, uh, and. So they they want to pull you in to to uh, uh, help with with uh, whatever's uh, whatever is happening. Okay. You can resist that if you want to. Well, I think two things here. One, like they got a shot of me at the warehouse, and two, um, this would build on that if they saw me here. But also, this gives me the time to make sure anything that didn't work out right. Like I mm. can fix it, you know. Sure. Any detail that didn't like quite work, or the 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 wrist joint, all of that stuff, I can make sure is played out perfectly. Mm -hmm. um, and as an example in in real life uh, <laughs> of them needing having had this situation was, I think the uh, the Israelis set up a a, a remote control gun on a truck a mile away from an, uh, an Iranian um, nuclear power, like nuclear physicist or something like that. And like they shot him from a, over a mile away and, and unfortunately killed him. But then the explosives only launched the gun up into the air and back down. <laughs> it didn't actually destroy the gun and the evidence like they were hoping to. That's the only reason we know who did it and how it happened. Um, so I'm going to make sure that the this stuff doesn't just jump up in the air and fall back down. I'll make sure that everything uh, gets cleaned up. Um, so yeah, no, I'll I'll take that. I think that's actually a um, a great a great risky way to a sweaty way to to end things out. Mm -hmm. um, do I need to make any further rolls now? Do I need to like sway somebody that I'm, you know, yeah. or anything like that? I, I don't want to drag this out since it, it's just you there, but I do want to, to get a roll. Uh, you'll be in a risky position, and depending on exactly what you're trying to do, uh, figure out something you want to roll. Uh, like, what, what's your main focus? Is it on uh, making sure that the, the workstation was destroyed? Is it clearing out any evidence you may have left behind? Uh, is it on focusing on this imperial wrist joint? Well, what, what's your what's your main objective uh, now that you got this opportunity? I think that 
Um, I want to make sure that the, the the job the job itself is to make sure that the the computer is th thoroughly destroyed. Everything else is a side thing. So I'm focused on making sure that if there was anything left that need to be that I sneakily deal with it somehow, either put pull apart into my person or, um, you know, thermite, you know, or what you know, just like something, some acid mm -hmm. to melt things, like whatever I need to do to make sure that the the cleanup goes. Um, that the computer is fully destroyed at the end of the day. Yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, that sounds awesome. What do you want to roll for that? Are you going for Tinker or is it something else? Wreck? I think um, I'm going to roll Sway and it's going to be to let me into like each little place I need to be into to get to things as they come along and not be like, hey, who are you again? Like, okay. I'm going to be useful winger, like I always am. And <laughs> um, people are like, oh, yeah, you can handle, like, I'll, I'll take that for you, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And basically make sure that uh, I, you know, as things are getting removed or, or stuff like that, that I get a chance to look at it. Um, cool. Okay. So a sway, um, a one die, you're in a risky position. Okay. Um. I'll push to uh, desperate for effect, like mm -hmm. to make sure this is thorough. Yeah, um, and I think in this case that will mean that they will realize that something is up before, before like th they will realize they they may realize that something is up before you leave. Uh, like the, the, that's. It's desperate because someone has realized that oh that guy isn't supposed to be here. Who? Why, why did you? Why did you pull in someone off the street to help us with this secure facility? Uh, so okay. you will need to. That, that that's why it's it's desperate. You're you're in a high pressure situation. Okay. Okay. Um, you're pushing it a, a bit too hard, like to to get into all these uh, these places. Okay. Does that make um, sense? Yeah, yeah. I'm just wondering if there's anybody in like an earpiece, like helping me with things to say or details or something like that. Oh yeah, I mean you have comms. If you check off your your comms, you have a, a comm unit, um, and I don't think that even has any load. So you you always have a okay helpful. <laughs> so okay. Um. Trying to you figure really out. Want it... to check off, check off some kind of tools or or gear. Yeah, I was thinking like demolition tools or something like that, or substrate. No. Um, tech tools maybe. Tech tools makes the most sense, I think. Yeah. Um. Okay. Cool. The so rolling sway. Uh, you're desperate, but you have great effect because you you traded. Uh, position for effect. Okay. And is anybody aiding through comms or is everybody stressed out? If I aid, I hit a trauma. Do you I'm want a trauma? I'm tempted, but that seems cheap. Is they what opposed to the idea of me Take aiding? It. No, I'm going to do it. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm the getaway driver. Failing at my job, taking a trauma. This is so bad. I'm doing it though. Boom. Take some help. Uh survey says. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. No, no, no. Uh the a worst two and a one. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Being you're just going to you have to get out of there. Um, you you realize that oh, uh, I'm I'm right at the crime scene, and there's people arriving uh, who are going to do a thorough investigation. They're going to to question everyone who is here, and you your whatever cover you have won't stand up to that. So 
uh, so going to lose this opportunity. That's the the consequence. Okay. So you when I roll, that, which means you, you could try to continue to do something, but uh, yeah. Okay. Um. Before that, though, the sway roll was that made under desperate conditions, and therefore I get an experience point. Yes. Okay. Let me mark that then. Um, and um, yes, I would like to resist that consequence using insight. And I will have found the um, with insight uh, an escape plan before I started all of this. And I, I can slip out um, unseen cool. or further undetected, I should say. I should say. Mm -hmm. So I'll roll four dice. And that'll be under um, insight. Come on, dice, come on. OK, I roll a six. No problem. No stress. Uh, so yeah, since, since the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, you, you get out. Uh, you you don't manage to to do any extra cleanup or anything, but uh, you get out of there without uh, them being any uh, wiser. But this is kind of where we want them to be, right? Like we left them evidence to point to the wrong people. Like this is we want them to be super suspicious right now. So yeah, um, yeah. Uh, in a way, this is kind of what we a risky way to have got exactly what we needed. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, cool. So that means that the job is done. Let's do uh, the fallout. Um, then we'll get into downtime and all of that. So you're not getting paid because this was a, a favorite rack. Uh, you will get rep. Um, and I keep forgetting to take uh, here into account, but I don't think it would have changed anything too much here. Um, to get two reps, they, this is a uh, thing. Let me check what tier your, your employees are tier three. I think this is the tier three facility. That would give you five reps. Nice. Uh, can someone check that off? On the crew, I'll do it. So that'll push us to strong, right? Strong zero. Yeah, yeah. Cool. cool. And that doesn't okay. do anything other than the than the work. Um, cool. Uh, so he, um, I think this. Like uh, a big explosion will count as loud and chaotic. Um, so that's four heat. Uh, target is high profile or well connected. Yes. Uh, she's a, a, at least a, a manager in, in uh, inter an intelligence branch that, that's going to, to count that. So that's five. Uh, Happen on hostile turf. Yes, kind of. I mean, you were in there. You were in. It's they. They are your allies, but it was also in a in a high security area. I think that uh, that's how we're going to count that. That's six. You're not at war, and there was no killing involved. Uh, so you get six keys. Jeez. Six. Uh, which means you lose one influence. Um, and I think, yeah, but that, that happens after you, you got your, uh, actually, sorry, that, that happens, uh, because advancing in, in, um, tier and that sort of thing is its own step. That means you have to spend one more rep because the heat pushes you to, to, uh, yeah, lower influence. Right. Cool. Um, entanglements. Uh, you're at heat six plus, but you have a wanted level of zero. 
So I'm rolling two dice and taking the lowest for uh, entanglement. Two, uh, flip or interrogation. Someone switches their allegiance or one of you gets picked up. I will uh, get back to that after the break that we should have soon. Um, let's have um, a scene with all of you and Rack uh, at Cadley's Hope. You, you've done the job, you're, you're reconvening. Um, yeah, uh, everything's done. Winger shows up. I, I think this everyone else is there and Winger shows up. Uh, since uh, he was the one who, who stayed behind to make sure everything uh, got done. He's a stinky little bat. He's got all that, you know, all that, you know, dust and smoke and all that kind of stuff from having helped out there at the end. So. <clears throat> and Hadley's Hope is, is always open. They're, they're, they're at the dock. They, it's, it's a cheap dive. But like the the they're, they're always open. There's always some some This is like in six seven in the morning. Um. So, Rock, you should be prepared to go to work just like normal. Show up just like normal. Be surprised. We did a good job. Um. We were waiting for the report to see how the explosions went, but obviously. We set off several just to cover our tracks, um, and we tried to we timed it so that it wouldn't um, impact any of the workers there. So like no one should be hurt. Um, I think you'll be very happy. Yes, I hope so. If if this works out, I I really owe you. You do. Um, if I recall correctly, we made a deal with him so that. Um, the employer employer wouldn't take a cut for a little while. Mm. Yeah, you you're going to get um, a yeah, discount. I think. I think we said you will get an extra credit on a future job. Yeah, but yeah, he's not going to. You 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 will get some some. He he will try to like funnel some extra money to you for jobs you you actually do because he couldn't but he couldn't pay you for this. And since KZ traumed out, where do you think KZ is? Yeah. He doesn't really have a home, so I think he just passed out in the. He couldn't say up till seven. Who knows? Maybe he's pushing himself from before. Cause he Maybe you just came back and just in. drank yourself silly here at Hadley's mm -hmm. Hope. So you're like unconscious here in the booth. Yeah. There we and go. I mean, uh, being tra going out from trauma doesn't have to mean that you're unconscious and, and like out of it in that way. It just means that you're unable to contribute to whatever uh, the the job is. I'd like to tell Rack um, that we had to blow up his office to make sure he wasn't implicated and just see what his face does. Mm. <laughs> uh... I'll make a roll for him. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's what? You blew up my office? I have that all my work. You didn't that, tell us not to. <laughs> that that's where I had all the information. You 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 got me on the other job. Psych. <laughs> <laughs> Wigger can't hold it in anymore. He's spurting out beer and <laughs> laughing and laughing. What, 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 what's he saying? What's he saying to me? It means we're messing with you. It, we didn't do that. We like our oh. jobs. Clark, don't do that. Killing minds and bodies over there. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Casey, uh, do you think you're here and and uh, getting drunk or or are yeah I think I'm I'm here and I'm somewhere? I'm basically useless I'm really tired I drank up <laughs> more than I I should have and 
I probably need to be helped to the vehicle and driven to a place to crash. But yeah, I'm there. Just useless. Oh. Well, after this, I I I need a drink. Um, maybe not as many as he's had, but but I need something. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Let, 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 let's all get some drinks. I, I'm buying. Legit. Yeah, sounds great. Give me another. <laughs> Do we I don't drink, but I'll take the credits that you would spend on one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not sure that's really in the spirit. You don't want a <laughs> oil can or something? An oil can? Or a little bit of juice? Would you like a cup full of blood? <laughs> Don't you do uh, oil baths or something? <laughs> Dude, shut up. Yeah, get, get me a spa day. That would be great. <laughs> I'm not sure I, I have the, the budget for that today, but, but I'm going to make sure you get some extra um, extra money. That's for sure. I think he... No, sorry. Uh, no. Um, get that. Uh, yeah, you have some drinks. Um, relax uh, a bit. Is there anything more you want to do in that scene? I think we should get a clear idea that he's not going to... Rack isn't going to uh, fold, right? That he can handle the pressure. Yeah. Um, I think the general sense is that he's usually a pretty cool customer. This hit very close to home. He was personally in danger. He's not necessarily used to that. Uh, but now that everything is done, he knows that he has to uh, be very careful and keep quiet about this. Um, and your general impression is that he's good as long as he just has to talk. Uh, it was this like things, physical things are happening that that was that was rattling for him. Um, but if he just has to to bullshit, then then uh, yeah, he's he's probably good. But you can make a roll if you want. That that's that, that's your general impression. But if you want to to probe with it, then uh, you can absolutely do that. I think I'm satisfied with my general impression. Anyone else? Works for me. Hi, you look a bit. Yeah, I just I can't think of what else I could do. Um, I yeah, mean, you are I'm getting good. drunk together, so that that is, yeah. or at least having some drinks. He needs to go into the office. So yeah, he probably should shouldn't have much, but um, yeah, you, you have an opportunity to to uh, um, push him a little bit or, or probe if you if you want to. Nah, we're good. Cool. If something happens, something happens. <clears throat> yeah. So he has one drink, and then he goes off to go home, get changed. Come back to the office, act surprised, uh, all of that. Actually, no, I think what happens is that uh, before Winger shows up, he gets a call on his comps uh, about what has happened. Uh, they they call call in to call out to, to all of the people in the, the office. Uh, he doesn't, I, I think they, they want him to come in so uh, and 
they don't like you hear the conversation and they're just saying, oh, you should come in. We need to uh, just uh, make an, uh, uh, check on, on everyone. And he tells you afterward, yeah, they, I, I'm going to get questioned because they're going to question everyone. That's what that means. Uh, it's not that they're worried about his health. It's just that they uh, they had a bombing at an intelligence facility that's going to uh, mean they are very suspicious. Good luck, ma'am. Yeah, this is uh, this is the easy part for me, at least. Um, cool. Let, um, let's take a break here and then we'll uh, do, deal with the, the, the entanglement and get into some downtime and some free play. Cool. So um, what I think happens um, is let, let's get into uh, some downtime actions, and I will bring this uh, entanglement up uh, when it seems uh, appropriate. Do we need to do XP from the job? Uh, we do XP at the end of the session. That's that's okay. for the session, not for the uh, for the job. So everyone has their two actions. Winger has the uh, special like extra that. action that anyone can, or that you can give to to anyone. And um, maybe I think we should maybe just do one downtime action each. So that you have some some more if you want to prepare for the next job because I don't have that set up yet. Mm. Uh, I, I wasn't sure how how much time uh, this would take. Uh, so we'll do start doing <clears throat> legwork and that sort of thing for for the next job next session. Uh, so we have plenty of time to do uh, character scenes and and that sort of thing. Definitely reduce heat at some point. That sounds wise. And some of you probably want to reduce Definitely need to reduce stress. KZ doesn't need to reduce stress. <laughs> KZ's all good on stress. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, does anyone have something uh, ready to go? Something they want to do, or or a character scene that you you want to do alone or with? Uh... Um, I can, I can indulge, uh, reduce stress. Um, I have my new obligation, uh, which is keeping an eye on Rosie, so I can go visit. Um, name is. Ingix? No, no, not Ingix. Um, is it, is it Kavi? Yeah. 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 Go uh, go see how Rosie is doing with Kavi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, yeah, Rosie is helping Kavi. She's still got her arm in a sling, uh, Kavi. Uh, and Rosie is helping, have like, cleaned up everything. You've never seen Kavi's uh, <laughs> shop this is clean and organized before. Uh, it, and I think uh, Rosie has, there, 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 there's always been like a, a, like a, a little table and a couple of stools where, where customers can sit down and, you, and like Kavi can have talk with them uh, a bit. And now there's like a, a tiny vase with a with a little plastic flower in it <laughs> uh, on the table, uh, and some some small touches like that. that uh, Rosie is just trying to keep everything uh, nice and tidy and, and a bit homey. Uh, so, 
Uh, yeah, I like that. Ask Kavi, like, is she getting any trouble? <laughs> Clearly not. You're asking Kavi. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she's very helpful. Um, I mean, I, I have to search for things because she puts them where they should be instead of where I always keep them. But uh, I think uh, I think we could can work uh, work well together. Right. And how yeah. did how did your thing go? Um, smashing. Explosive success. <laughs> we blew the hell out of that place with explosives. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. Um, your time with Rosie, do you think she's clearly doing a great job keeping the place tidy? Do you think she is interested in learning any new skills? Helping you out or Anything else? Um, yeah, we've been. We, we, she she um, she's helped me with some some droid work since I we have the one arm, um, and she seems like she uh, she could uh, she, she's she's got an eye for it. Great, Rosie, how are you doing? Uh, she she pops her head out from from like where where she's been rummaging around in the back and, and organizing stuff. Um, oh, Elliot, uh, did you did you uh, you said my name? Yes, just asking how things were going. Oh, uh, I I think everything's going very well. Uh, there's there's a lot of work to do here, but. Uh, uh, Miss Cass is being very, uh, very kind, and and she's uh, my my arm is working uh, perfectly. Fantastic. I think kind of either well, uh, uh, yeah, like put my like put myself between Rosie and her, um, or wait for her to turn around and do thing. I. I have a present for you, Rosie. Oh, that's the, for me? Yeah. And I give her a blaster. <laughs> and just say, keep this somewhere safe, just in case. Oh, um, I, but stay, uh, stay from, from who? Just safe. Okay. I, Do you know uh, how to use it? No. Well, I, maybe I'll show you one day. Okay, I'll, I'll keep it safe until then. And this is just between you and me. Okay, yes, of course. Droid to droid. Yes. Uh, Okay. It's a good thing. It's a present. Yes, yes. Uh, I, thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's it's very kind. It's just, and, and she's holding it kind of awkwardly in, in both hands. <laughs> uh, clearly not at all sure how to how to handle it. Mm -hmm. I'll show you how to clean it next time. Oh, it needs cleaning? And that kind of perks her up? Yes, like, yep. <laughs> Well, I'm sure you can figure it out yourself if you want. Uh, I, I think it's best if you show me first. I don't want to uh, set it off or, or something. Great. Cool. Um, I think, cool like, I, I assume this isn't your fancy fine blast. No, system. no, no. It's just a. Well, the, the leftovers. <laughs> uh, I think that will probably still cost you a cred. Mm, okay. Uh, if it's going to be something that's at least uh, functional and not just uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. I'll do that. Rosie's got a gun. 
Yeah. Um, I'm rolling two dice for stress. Is that right? Um, you take your lowest. Um, yeah, two across the board. Which is two. That's a three. <laughs> wow. Um, and spending one would only take it up to two, right? I think with. Hmm. Or can I swing that cred into a <laughs> bump up? Yeah. Uh, I think you can at least roll an extra die. Uh, okay. Extra die. Great, I do. <laughs> so no help. But, no help. Yeah. I'll just I'll just take the one. Oh, you don't want to? I, I think I'm not sure you get a choice. Actually, I think you get the highest. Yeah. So you have to take the three. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm at. I'll take the one. Uh, oh, one stress. more. Yeah. Oh, were you full up? I was no. I was at. Um, oh, you I, were you were at the. Yeah, I was at uh, two two dial. I had two empty book boxes. You had two empty. Then you should lose three now. So you should be. You should have. Five. Oh right, right. Sorry, I was thinking of the the range band instead of the number. Oh um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Sorry. I think yeah. there's an ability that, like an, a special ability someone can take that lets you choose which die. Yeah. Oh, yeah. interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Then the three stress dice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. The, the, then you were doing it correctly. Just in, just it, the wrong. Yeah. It's odd. This is a different type of role from every other role. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Cool. Uh, cool. So, uh, KZ, what do you get up to? Or do you have something uh, you want to do? Man, the easy ones of uh, progressing the clock and stress relief are no longer available to me. My vehicle... <laughs> oh, that's not a bad idea. My vehicle is also in great shape. So, yeah, I will reduce some heat. I will take one for the team and uh, take an action to reduce our heat. So how do you want to do that? Let's see. I'm looking at reduce heat right now to remind you choose um action, I believe. Describe what you're doing to reduce heat on your crew and roll an action, then reduce heat according to the result. And as always you can get an extra die if a friend or contact helps you. Mm-hmm. What have we recently gotten heat? Blowing up an office. Right, right, right. <laughs> okay. Uh, and also, uh, part of the of the heat you got from that was that you were operating in stack stack, mm -hmm. uh, where there's a lot of security. So you could uh, do some try to do something about that. Um, okay. Or try to to uh, manufacture some some information that would point in a different direction. Yeah, let me see. Let me take a look at our factions and maps. See if there's anybody we want to point this at. You wanted to pull point like with the with the the, the arm joint or uh, mm -hmm, wrist joint. At the you want to push right. at the uh, push at some imperials. Um and let me see you have the next order. Uh, the next order. They are mm. your uh rivals from before. Uh rivals, but you know, enemies hostile. Um that's a, a natural choice. Um there is a grasping claw. Yeah, yeah. Uh Probably, yeah, that, that, that's a possibility. You also have the squad uh, from on Underworld. They're Imperial deserters who are now criminals, just a, a, a gang working for Black Sun. What was, Mark, what was the one that you just mentioned? The graphic uh, grasping, The grasping claw. 
they're, not, they're not they're not imperial that was they're, no they're not they're yeah. just raiders yeah in the tunnels yeah. like alligators yeah, uh, they, they, they were the ones who who yeah. tried to ambush you oh my uh, goodness the squad yeah. has the has the black sun as a patron yeah mm-hmm. I, I am feeling reckless i'm going i'm going up there and i pick a fight with those guys tier nice. two Mm-hmm. Cool. So, how do you want to push attention towards them? I know. I'm just gonna drop dime on them to Captain Tebs. There we go. Hey, Tebs. By the way, I heard the squad uh, was involved in this thing. Don't ask me how I know. I'm just giving you a tip. <laughs> cool. That's it. That's the whole thing. Very simple, right. and also not not really hiding that it's me. Doing the thing. Mm. Uh, uh, I think that is trying to consort because I know her, right? You can absolutely connection consort. from your background heritage or friends or rivals. So I'm going to do that because I never yeah. consort. And she is a friend. Uh, I'm sorry. She's a ri- rival. Yeah. yeah so yeah. Uh, consorting. So you get an extra die because you're involving uh, someone uh, like that. Yeah, two dice. Hmm. I'm sorry, I've asked this a hundred times. Mm-hmm. This is downtime, therefore you do not spin stress. You can if it's uh if you the way I understand it now at least is that if you're rolling an action mm-hmm. like you are doing now, then you mm-hmm. can uh push yourself. Because you're pushing yourself. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. I, I'm not sure. I may not have always been consistent on this. I'm trying to because I'm not sure what the intent is from. Well, the group. I mean, you've taken a lot of ownership of this version. I think you <laughs> can determine it, and that's the yeah, way yeah. we will play this. Yeah, I'm fine with uh, with people pushing themselves for for downtime. I'm pushing myself. Here comes three dice. Hey, hey yeah, yeah. I'll take it. Six. Six. Nice. So a six will get you three. Three hit. If you spend a cred, uh, you can push it to one higher result level, which would push it to a crit, which would be five instead of three. On the other hand, you can spend a cred to do an extra action, which would probably is likely to get you those extra two, but. Uh, I'm not spending a credit on either thing. I spend some stress, and that's what you get, <laughs> Pong yeah. folks. But that is still three heat uh, of of Pong. I will remove those now. Yay! So, um, I think Mola is. Where, where do you do you hit her up? Because now you, you know roughly where she lives, but you don't know exactly where she lives. You know where she works. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm not doing the I'm showing up where you live thing. That is not. <laughs> I am reckless. I am not stupid. I do not want her to seem attacked, even though that is safer for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I think I just. Grab a few jobs around the police department, waiting for her to get off work. The garrison. She works at the garrison. Sorry, garrison, not police department. Garrison. No, no, no. That, that's fine. It's, uh, there's a lot of. Yeah. That's, so that's where you pick her up. Pick her up last around time, and, exactly, and then uh, yeah. when she comes out of work, I swoop in with the lav, not truck, mm-hmm. and uh, say, "Hey, I need to talk to you. Get in." Oh, well, if you give me a ride. Sure. You heading home? Yeah. You can I don't know exactly what that is. That. I'll take you to the same place. And as we're cruising. Uh want to let you know the squad was involved in that little mess at Sex Sack. Oh, you heard about that? Yeah, I did. Yeah, that was uh, 
let's actually let let's make a, a separate consort role to see what you get out of her. Okay, all right, awesome. I'm not spending any more stress. I just got rid of the stress by traumaing. Consorting okay. with tabs. It's a four. Yeah, cool. Um so she's yeah, that's um real mess. Uh weird. Well yeah, I, I, I can't tell you any details, of course, but it's not like like any bombing I've seen before. Yeah. Somebody must have had some dirt on one of their guys. Could be. Pretty um, brazen. I, I'm not sure what they were actually after and what what they did just to cover their tracks, but seems seems like it was uh, imperial. Yep. Well, good. What's the plan? Are they going to come down hard on them? Listen, I I know you see my files, but I do not want to be part of the Empire, and I'm happy the New Republic is fixing things, and I'm super, I'm pretty nervous about the squad running around. I heard they are friends with Black Sun. Yeah. They, uh, uh, that seems to be uh, well, what's going on. Um, you don't hang out with those those guys? They're deserters? Not even a little. No, ma'am. No, never. I didn't desert. I was freed. Freed by the New Republic. Emancipated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Well, glad you're uh, also, I stole this, so lot. you know, they, they really don't think they would be happy with me. The less <laughs> imps there are around, the better, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Um, I'd be happy I'm not one of those who, who thinks the better we're off. Uh, the, the, the fewer ex imps there are around, the, the better as well. I count on you being a professional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah even not... if you hated me on principle you'd work with me I could tell uh, she gives you she gives you a look and uh, well there was a lot of things we had to do during the rebellion but uh, but I'm glad we don't need to do anymore yeah? Like what? Uh, yeah, I shouldn't talk to you about that. You should. I wouldn't use it against you. Yeah, but who knows who you talk to. You're not driving this fine vehicle and she kind of has the, the uh, um, what do we call it? Panel thing? Oh, the console in the front? Yeah. Oh, console, yeah. Oh, I smile. I'm happy about that. I will take that compliment as a compliment. <laughs> but yeah, I, I look into the squad. They, uh, even if they didn't do it, they may know who did it. Good. Good. And if I get any more dirt on those guys, I'll come to you. Is this okay? Picking you up, yeah. taking you home, giving you these details? I don't... I know there's protocols. But... Off here. That's, that's fine. Okay. Not, uh... you have... Fine having this working relationship. I think mm -hmm. that's... Uh, we'll keep it there. Good. I like having a relationship with you, Cap. Working relationship. Exactly. Exactly. Have a good night. Don't get into any trouble. I never plan on it. Yeah, that's that's the thing, right? You never plan on. Oh, well, yeah. I'm on. Cool. 
So you have uh, some, some heat off of all of you. Um, Rook, Winger, you have something you want to do? I need to earn money and fast. And I'm not sure how to do that and make it interesting. <clears throat> Well, there is there there is one downtime action for uh, earning money, but that that gives you one stat, so it's not. Well, that's what I want. Yeah, cool. like what I'm trying to do is to get out of the hovel I live in. Mm -hmm. Um, so I've put every cred I have towards that. So. Cool. Um, yeah. Um. Well, you are a, a droid mechanic, so you could you could work with Kavi, uh, bring in some extra work there. You could uh, maybe work with uh, Sawtooth. Uh, he is a droid. Uh, he could he could need some service himself, or he he could have like customers uh, that you could work on. He's not a droid mechanic, so. Uh, if you uh, work work with him a bit, that like, that could like broaden his customer base. It's also kind of funny, right? Like mm -hmm. droids for fleshies and fleshy for droids. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. No, uh, I'll approach him for that. Uh, how does he feel about that? Um. Yeah. Uh... I could uh, I could use someone to uh, fix up some of these uh, mods and cyber bits, and maybe uh, some some of my customers bring droids here. They think I can fix droids just because I'm a droid. Relax, man. I'm your Shadra fan. <laughs> uh, uh, cool. Yeah. Do you mean make a roll uh, or? Let's try it for a week and see if you don't um, if you don't annoy me too much, then maybe you can come back for another week. Out of character, that's probably not going to last very long. Then, <laughs> Winker is <laughs> notoriously frustrating, but uh, we'll. At least a week's worth. Um, all right, I'll throw that into stash then. Cool. Um, you want to make a roll to see how you get along with with Sawtooth, or do you want to just sure. trust it that, yeah. that you're going to uh, annoy? I mean, let's let us let the dice decide. That sounds mm -hmm. like a consort to me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. So. Or consort. A consort is a person. Consort yeah. is the verb. Yeah. Right. I got right. the five. So that's uh, at least a, a mixed uh, success. Um, so do you think that you do good work, but you're going to annoy him with all your talking, or? Do you get along with him, but your work is up to his stand? And it's it, either way, it's it's going to be you. You're not going to be like it, it's not like this. It's more like yeah, somewhere in the middle. Um, what if like he and I get along well, but like my work is superior and he doesn't want like people are starting to show up for me and not for him right like <laughs> this is his business and so like he doesn't want me to overshadow his stuff or at yeah. least that's what he tells me as he kicks me out the door <laughs> uh i think what he says is that you're drawing the wrong kind of custom Oh yeah, yeah. I don't want people showing up here just to have the droids repaired. They're getting oil all over the place. 
I, I, uh, I haven't. I, I have a solid customer base. I need those people to to uh, come here. The, you're you're crowding out my my regulars. I think like Winger accepts it and moves on, but like it's kind of like he and Sawtooth were actually getting along, um, mm -hmm. and like he's like I kind of feel like he lost a friend, so. Um, but he hasn't, but like, he's just, he's yeah. just hurt for a little bit, but yeah. yeah. All right. He moves on. He takes the money and moves on. Cool. So Rook, do you have something you want to uh, get into? Yeah. Um, I want to go, I want to indulge my vice of pleasure. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm going to, uh, go to the local brothel. Um, and, um, I think uh this is this place is sort of like a um uh the uber of brothels basically where you can so i actually um sign in get assigned a um what's the right word uh uh a room with a bed and then i take on clients oh Cool. They're working there. Um, I figure as long as I want to do this, I might as well get paid a little bit. Doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be good, good stuff, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I was going to ask, how does this like? I'm not sure that's going to be like pleasure for you, but uh, um, depending on your your proclivities i think to a certain extent i can be a little bit more choosy like in the app you can choose you know uber mm. black or something like that so okay. in this case i think i'd probably get paid less uh, um but i can direct towards a, a more acceptable clientele okay yeah maybe if you take on the other Mandalorian client. Mm. Uh, what do you mean? Culture? Because you, you have a Mandalorian background, right? Yes. Yes. So you could like you you know the culture. You can have like a, a, it, it could be like more of a or at least part of it is um, Mandalorians who are exiled they feel isolated they get to have a, a, a spend some time with someone from their own culture mm -hmm. cool we don't need do they, to get into it more than that. do they make you put your helmet back on <laughs> no but i think it's uh there is some sparring involved mm. i think oh, that's yeah. part of the culture is that you know it's sort of to a certain extent, there's wrestling and there's some challenge involved. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, let's see the roll. You yeah. are rolling two dice. Yep. I got a five and a three, so I'll take the five. five. Okay. Cool. So uh the entanglement is going to be interrogation and this is uh i'll just read it and then we'll we'll go through what happens so corsac picks up one of the pieces for questioning unless you pay them off with three creds they will beat you up suffer level two harm and you tell them what they want to know plus three heat you can resist the harm and the heat separately uh, mm -hmm. So this is pretty rough, uh, and I think the one they're going to pick up is Winger, um, because they have, and this is not like they they know that you you did it, but they are picking up Chadra fan all over the place, uh, mm -hmm. because there was a Chadra fan there who was acting suspiciously, and uh, you're a Chadra fan, so. Um, and they are pretty 
uh, intent on getting something. They figure if you if it wasn't you, then you know someone or you know someone who knows someone. Um, so yeah, all chatters are know each other. Right? Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Oh, that's so funny. Uh, so yeah. Um, so you have the choice, either you pay them off with three creds. I mean, this doesn't have to be exactly your three creds. It, you can pull from the rest of the crew if they're willing to give up their their, uh, their creds and if they have them. Um, or you will get the bad stuff. You can resist the bad stuff, but that means risking uh, a uh, So I figure you, you choose your options, and then we can play out the scene a, a little bit. Um, I wish I could like take the harm and then roll to see if I give in, but if it's a guaranteed that I'm going to give in and I get a choice of it, like I don't want to be that guy in the crew, but you know, maybe I am that guy in the crew. Um, maybe they chose correctly, maybe. Yeah, you I can also I think... resist the giving in as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. they're they're both. Oh, they are resistible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can resist both of them. Oh, I just resist them oh, separate. Oh, oh, you can take oh, the I harm see. and resist the other one, or you can. Yeah. I see. Very um, cool. We have a. I, I want to point out we have a a credit stash mm -hmm. in the vault. A credit in the vault. Um, and I'd be willing to give that up as well as. You know, seeing if we could pull it together. If you want to make that an option. So Casey has zero. Uh, Elliot has one. Uh, Rook has a lot of creds. Uh, Winger has zero. So if if you use the one in the stash, then Elliot and or Rook will have to uh, chip in as well. Okay. So yeah, I appreciate that. I'm not gonna give them money. Um, I th I think um, Winger would definitely resist telling them what they they want to hear. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I think he's going to do that by having. Like what was it that uh, KZ was saying? It was the uh, who, uh, the who did you implicate? I'm sorry, the, the squad. squad. The squad. I I think I'm going to enhance that uh, heat reduction and and point to the squad on that mm -hmm. somehow. But uh, you can probably use Sawtooth as an alibi as well. Um, oh sure, sure. Maybe that's one of the reasons why he kicks me out too. Um, could be, could be. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to resist the the truth telling, um, mm -hmm. and based off of that, or do I have to decide both at once? No, no, no. You you can you can absolutely make one roll first and see see how that goes. Okay. All right. So I think uh, resolve definitely covers um, the yeah. line. So that's three dice. Oh boy, let's see. Uh, okay. That's a state. That's oh, a six. Zero. Wow, I'm good at lying. Um mm -hmm. I don't know how I'd avoid the the the, the damage though. You talk about that, that too. Yeah. You 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 can resist it. It can be just like you you seem so harmless that uh, there's no point in beating you up uh, that you deflect them enough that they don't really suspect you know anything um, or if I let them I'm kind of a hero so I'm gonna let them um so that's a level two you said yeah that's a level two harm let's say beat up uh, okay um beaten up then and... 
So, um, and I yeah, think no. it's it's clear that these are ex imperials. Um, these are are Forsyth agents who, or at least they worked here. They 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 are not new people who came in with a new republic. These are, mm. are they, they worked here under the empire. Uh, one of them is older, so it's possible that he he was here before the empire. But who knows? Uh, they don't give you their resumes. Do they give you their names and badge numbers? Uh, <laughs> you don't get a lot out of them at all. It's, uh, they, I think they can pick you up at, at Sawtooth, uh, just to, to pay into what you said there. Uh, uh, like they, they've heard that there's a chatter fan working there. Uh, and Sawtooth is kind of, he's like, he's a back alley medic, but he's tolerated. He's, he's not doing obviously illegal stuff. Uh, they hear there's a chatter fan working there. Uh, they're looking for chatter fan. Uh, they come grab you, um, dra drag you to a, a station in in uh, Sex Sex, and uh, yeah, work you over to to get information. Okay. Oof. Yeah, it's the the, the entanglements can be pretty harsh. Where do you show up after that happens? The bar, I assume. Or no, I, I actually no. I'll, I'll probably head back to the our our place. Um, I don't want anybody to like outside of the group to know I've gotten mm -hmm. hurt. Um, that just shows a weakness to others. Um, which oh, might be our group immediate interest in who did this. What do I and know? Rook, and Rook takes immediate interest in what you told them. Yeah. <laughs> so I get interrogated twice in one mm -hmm. day. I get it. Um, but I don't I don't lie about any of it. Um, How detailed of a description can you give me? You know what they look like. You, you don't know their name, but you know what they look like. So uh, it's the, it's enough for for Elliot to be able to like search for them. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, give me a roster or some photos or something. I'm sure Elliot I'll will search for them. them out. For sure. Cool. And I, I you know, uh, how much for the flashback to have had the conversation with KZ to make sure our like to have heard him, like ah, so we co-implicate is a good idea. Yeah. Oh, that that that's no no cost for that. that that's okay. something that could you you could easily uh, adopt. Okay. Then yeah. Um. Uh, I I show them the the notes I took or whatever. Like, just follow this little playbook we came up with here. Do you trust me? It'd be funny. It'd be cool if you didn't, but um, I think I trust you. Whenever Elliot heads off, you know, is more interested in revenge than in finding out what you said. I think that puts a little bit more suspicion on Elliot. Huh. Okay. Uh, and I'll, I'll I'll keep my eyes on you, but yeah. Cool. Cool. Uh, we're at 10 minutes two, so I think we should do some XP. Um, and we, we can, we, we'll continue with downtime next session. Uh, I think we, we, we'll continue with downtime. Uh, you'll be able to prepare for the new job, and depending on how, my, how many character scenes and that sort of thing we do, maybe we, we get into the job, but I think we should at least get to the engagement problem. So oh, let's start with the crew XP. You did successfully complete the score. Uh, you did contend with challenges above your station. Um, did you live up to your 
ambitious reputation. Kind of thing to do. Then. Yeah. Biting the hand that feeds you might be a little bit ambitious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's like walking into a sex ec building and blowing yeah. it up. It's pretty. <laughs> uh, did you develop the inner life of the crew? Yeah, I think, I... especially this last part, but still. Did you want I to? Agree. No, I just wanted to say, yeah, I think that, you know, we established where the, um, you know, the fact that winger came right back to the crew mm -hmm. and we established especially since winger since kai worked so hard not to betray the group i think that says something as well yeah yeah uh did you develop the crew's relationship to other factions oh yeah crap i forgot <laughs> you, we were supposed to look at status i think I think in this case you're going to lose one with your employers <laughs> um, because of all the, the complications around that. You did actually directly attack them, even if only one person knows about it and he wanted you to do it. Mm. It, it, it makes things uh, a bit more complicated. Uh, I don't think the job itself affects any other uh, relations. Sorry, uh, let's get back to the XP. Uh, but develop the crew's relationship to other factions. I think pointing, uh, like pointing um, attention towards the, the squad uh, is mm -hmm. enough to qualify for that. Uh, did a crew member make a sacrifice for the good of the crew? Yes, Winger, definitely. Thanks, Winger. Wait. Or That's wing. the full, full state. Nice. So let's go. Let's go to Winger. Let's give you your individual XP. You you read the triggers. Okay. Did you or... bring your background into play? Um. Yes. Um. I worked with uh, Sawtooth. Yeah. Draw droid stuff. Did your vice or trauma hinder you? Um, did you develop your relationship with another character? Well, with Sawtooth, that's kind of double dipping. Um, no, 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 that's fine. That's fine. Okay. You can take that. Um, did you improve your personal situation? I, I think so. I got a job for a little while. Well, you also got an, you got your arm broken. Oh, okay. I don't know. Do Do you feel like? Uh, or, or you got. Do I, do I feel like I came out of that improved? No. Yeah. Do you, <laughs> like, like uh, do, do you feel like overall, it, are you better off now than you were uh, before? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, uh, I've been listening to a lot of, uh, you know, four years ago commercials uh, recently. So. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I can imagine. It, yeah. So. Uh, From the beginning of the session to the end of the session, no, it has not gone up. So I will leave that undone. <laughs> I tried to improve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, did I approach a problem with calculation or planning? Well, I planned out the uh, the implicating the the squad, mm -hmm. and I think it was very calculating to stay behind and make sure that the like. The computer was completely destroyed. Yeah, um, yeah. Did I approach a problem with deception or stealth? Um, yeah. Um, I pretended to be the guy helping them out with the, the explosion. And um, I lied to the people who were um, trying to get information out of me and stuff. Yep. So, so that's 4XP you can assign to your playbook XP or your uh, Attributes as you okay. as you want, as you wish. Uh, Rook. Yeah. Um. Did you bring your background into play? Um. Yes. During my vi uh, during my vice. Oh yeah, yeah yeah yeah. Um. Did your vice or your trauma hinder you? I don't believe so. During this session. Um. 
Did you develop your relationship with another character or PC, NP, NPC or PC? I don't think so. Oh, the bit at the end with like mistrusting Elliot and trusting Winger a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, did you improve your personal situation? I don't think so. Um, did you approach a problem with cunning or distrust? Yes. Um, and did you approach a problem with deception or stealth? I think so. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Elio. Yeah. Uh, did I bring my configuration into play? I think so. Uh, between giving Rosie a gun and uh, at the very end going off to search for the uh, folks that beat up Winger, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll take that. Um, I don't think my vice or faults hindered me. I was trying to be a little rebellious with our with our guy, but I think it was just being more of a jerk. So uh, did not hinder <laughs> it at all. Um, did I develop my relationship? Absolutely. Um, mm -hmm. Did I improve my personal situation? I don't think so. Uh, I'm actually down a cred. So um, did I approach a problem by employing my specialized skills? Yes, several times. Uh, with the S conflict and the infiltration module. Uh, and did I approach a problem with deception itself? Yes, we led the stealthing through the complex and everything else. Yeah. Cool. Uh, KZ. Okay. Or KZ. Did you bring your background into play? Uh, yeah, I mean, when you were my... talking with uh, Mola. Mm. Yep. Okay, good. Did your vice or trauma hinder you? I got one. So, yes. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. I mean, it, it's supposed to be when, when you are reckless and that's a problem. That should be. <laughs> that's I, when I you're tried to you. describe him dropping dime with the cops pretty openly against the squad as being reckless. But, you know, if you don't think. Oh, okay. 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 Um, no, I, I think that's fair. Like, you're, you are willing to, to just. Uh, Put it out there. You're you're not trying. You 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 weren't hedging with her. Like oh, make sure no one knows that I was the one who told you. Um. So yeah, yeah. I I, I think that's fair. Yay. Uh, did you develop your relationship with another character, PC or NPC? Tried to reach out to Tebs a little bit. Develop some. Yeah. Hey, yeah. No, I think thing. that's fair. Improve your personal situation. Mm, no. Um, I do think his second action might answer that as he's going to work for some more creds, work a gig as his second thing, but no, not in this session. Did you mm -hmm. approach a problem with a style with style or a devil may care attitude? No, nah, I don't think so because the reckless uh, from earlier, I don't want to double dip. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did you approach a problem with deception or stealth? I felt like our mission had some deception and stealth going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Cool. Four XP total. Cool. Uh, then let's do stars and wishes. Uh, you can go first, Britt. All right. We're doing stars and wishes. I know I ask every single time. Um, let. What do you prefer? Uh, I usually like to get wishes out there first and then circle around to stars, but that's just me. We did not roll an engagement roll, correct? Uh, that is correct. We but, did that last time. You know, time. you started off saying we had an engagement roll of a critical, and I wrote in the wishes from last time that we had a four. I didn't check that. Okay. Huh. I think Maybe two I sessions remember. ago we had a critical. Oh, uh, well, then you should have had more trouble, but uh, that, uh, yeah, okay. Sorry. I, I should have taken more careful notes. Yep, we uh, had a four. Okay. We, yeah. we, this is a weird wish uh, because I'd probably do it the next time the same way I did this time, but you guys were really into all the micro details of this mission setup, which felt <laughs> not very Blades to me and also was boring for me personally. So I kind of faded out for a good 20 minutes, but you guys were super into it. So I decided I'll just, <laughs> I'm good. Maybe I was just not in the right headspace for it, but there was just like a whole lot of like, but this, but this, but this, that felt very Shadowrun. Bad part um, of Shadowrun. So I'd like to hear more about that. 
just so I know exactly what you mean. Um, was it the we're going to bomb other offices? We need to make sure that they time it right. Uh, it was all getting of the, it, all the like kibitzing okay. and back and forth and back and forth and like one of the attractive things about I don't like heists. I don't like mysteries. I can live with heists. I will avoid mysteries. And and Blades answers my problem with heist by saying, "Yeah, we jump in, we flash back to details, and we keep moving. It's action, it's leverage, it's very that." And we got we got kind of caught up in the this is really cool, and what if we put the bomb here? And where do we put? It felt very like very like small and kind of sweeping. Like, mm. where do you put your bomb? Like, I don't give a fuck. Just tell me. Let's just go. Let's keep going. Like, you know, there were parts of that where I was like, they are really into it. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to piss anybody's cornflakes, but it's wishes. I wish we would not do that often. I'm okay. Thank you. I think I understand like, better. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. And, and to, to uh, tag on to that. Yeah. I noticed that a little bit as well. And I, I felt like you weren't fully engaged at that point, but it was also, like you said, everyone else was into it, so I didn't want to... Exactly. Uh, I, went with the, I went with the group. If I genuinely had a problem, I would have said something in. It was just when I was like, I don't feel like I'm in the right headspace for this level of conversation <laughs> around the micro details of this. So, just bring it up now so we can keep it in mind for future, because next time, I will bitch. <laughs> That's we don't discuss it now. Friends. But I want to ask you, do you feel like the focus on being the getaway driver affects your ability to it, not it, it, I'm not saying enjoy the heist or anything like that, but just the it, have input during that that during that phase of the game? A little bit. That may be uh, that was a thing where I was like, well, shit, I just help him get away. Like that that sucks that I have pigeonholed myself that way. So I'm in a four person team that doesn't make any sense. Like maybe it does in a movie like Getaway Driver where you have cool driveway scenes, but that means we effed up the mission, right? So maybe mm -hmm. that is it. I, I need to find like a secondary specialty for Casey so that I can be more personally. Engaged but that doesn't. Me. I'm not trying to use that as like some sort of quote unquote victim blaming. I'm not saying it's your fault that we did the thing that you don't like. Like we did that. That's oh, us. even if I was actively um, engaged, we went way too far into it. But but. Uh, yeah. I appreciate that perspective because I do think it helps me to try to find a way to come around to where if we hit that next time, I can at least for the first two rounds of kibitzing, I can I can give a shit. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I yeah. think that's useful, Kai. I'm not taking it as a shutdown or victim blaming or anything negative like that. I'm going to roll cold to shut you down anyway. So. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I I'll be even. quiet now. Uh, cool. That was my only wish. That everything else was was pretty cool. Like I I love the heat. Uh, I, I feel bad for Kai getting like a hardcore entanglement result, but mm -hmm. I like that there was a we went and messed with sex sec, and there is some stuff that happens, and it also unfortunately logically made some sense because speciesism you know it was a chatter fan ate a, ate a shitload of chatter fans on 1313 let's go all roust them up like that sucks it felt very imperial but also yeah i mean motivated. what what do mm -hmm. fascists do they they push on the the weak yep. so <laughs> which also and the marginalized like, like but these are new republic but it, it was it was really interesting i thought it was great it it, it has a very like Oh, this is the new police chief in charge, but still same crimes and same cops. So, I will I will say that I got to manipulate it to have some really cool like screen light time or screen time. So, don't feel too bad for me. All right, then. Uh, those those that was not even wish. I think it was more of a star. I also wrote down a star giving blaster. I just wrote that down. I think we all know what that was. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and a star on the other end of that of of you. Anish playing, portraying Kavi as like holding it wrong and being a little intimidated. Like, why are you giving me a, a blaster? This is, I thought we were a, f oh, oh goodness. What am I, why am I just like all of it? I could see it playing across Kavi's uh, reaction. And that was, it, it, 
it was Rosie, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it was Rosie. I'm sorry. Mm. Why did I think it was Kavi who was reacting to me? So, okay, it was, so it was, the was, toy was like it was at Kavi's. Yeah. Oh shit, it's at Kavi's. So brain just like slotted in. It's still great that you have this very innocent. I just used to mop for this dude, and now I have mm. a blaster. I don't have the programming for this. It's still cool, and uh, I'm glad. I'm cl- actually gladder that it's it's Rosie making her the innocent. Uh, is very amusing. Um, good, good, good. So sorry, same star, but with the right names and brighter. Um, sure. Uh, appreciate Kai rolling with it with how hard the. Son of Bricks came down on you. That was good. I think it was already really cool how you chose to and willing to pay fat flashback to tie it to the BS that Casey threw out. And I appreciate that. And uh, mm-hmm. Steven, you really threw me for a loop with Rook. And man, she's a dark, dark character. I that's stress relief. If Casey finds out, he's going to have a conversation with her. I, I hope you're aware. I don't know if that's a wish. I don't know if I want Casey to know. Because it will definitely, there's a difference. Uh, yeah. But also, maybe that means that Casey needs to think about his perception of uh, sex work. And, and that, you know. So, hey. It was a shocker. Uh, it was interesting. Yeah. There we go. Those are mine. Cool. Thank you. Uh, and thanks for bringing up the thing about the the the, the wish. Um, we, we should, uh, I, I'm trying to keep that in mind. Uh, and it, again, like like you said, if it happens again, please do uh, do speak up. Um, okay. Okay. Cool, uh, Mark. Um, yeah. Um, wishes. Do I have any wishes? Straight up. Um, I'm interested in. Uh, well, I'm interested in blowback from the job. Uh, if there's any fictional stuff there, but I'm also interested in finding the Imperials that beat up Winger. Um, definitely, like. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be a problem um any other stuff yeah uh stars i i enjoyed the job <laughs> I, I think it did get a little talky back and forth maybe um but i enjoyed the sort of that sort of uh level of like oh we're gonna do this we're gonna do this boom 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 uh i think it gave some opportunities for some like fun bits and pieces blowing up the blowing up the yeah uh the droid on the way out good time um yeah uh downtime stuff was fun uh start uh steven for going doing the thing that was i was like oh yeah i can't go to the brothel oh work in the brothel great yeah yeah that's cool wrestle in the brothel <laughs> wrestle in the brothel yeah mandalorian uh sexy wrestling um love it um yeah, Rich's uh, going going to talk to the cop was super fun. Uh, building that relationship, framing the the ex amps, um, and yeah, the whole the whole thing with Winger uh, and the cops, like super good choices all around. Love it. And yeah, I'm just keeping everything moving. Ooh, I want to slide in a wish that you made me yeah. think of, Mark, with with talking about that. Very very small wish. Um, please don't, Rich. Having taken reckless as a trauma, take us down the same path that Edema's recklessness mm. did, where we ended up <laughs> losing our headquarters and like all the badness that happened because she did not give a rat's uh, butt about stuff. So maybe check me if I get a little too reckless. Feel free; I will not be her. Um, I will not be offended. Cool. Thank you for that. Uh... Yes. Um, yeah. um so I'll start with a wish. Since you gave Rosie a gun, it kind of started me thinking, I wanna s- maybe Rosie gets recruited into the gang, maybe. right? Yeah, yeah. I kinda wanna see where does Rosie fit into that and everything. That's really interesting. Um I also wanna say, you know, thank you for the discussion about sex work and keep you know, keep me respectful. If I step out of line or anything like that, be sure to exit or let me know, you know, hey, this is more appropriate. But I did want something other than just like something that was more empowering, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, I think uh, the other wish that I have written down is that it takes extra work 
to make the kind of crew that we have have fun, right? What I mean by that is whenever we are, you know, whenever we do everything by shooting it up, action and combat tends to be very fun and it tends to be action oriented. Whenever you're sneaking into places, it's not very action oriented unless you fuck it up, right? Mm -hmm. So it takes it takes extra effort to make that um interesting and and everything and that's kind of what i want to see i i don't want to see us devolve into constant fights right mm -hmm. i want to make what we're doing interesting so yeah. i think that just takes me a little bit of extra work to put my brain into it so um as far as stars i really liked i didn't even think about blaming um a rival um group for this i thought that was brilliant and it w worked out really well with the combination of both kz and winger stepping into it and kind of coordinating it and again the it you know i'll echo it made a lot of sense that uh there was a you know harsh come down for the entanglement that came down on winger who took it for the team and the interaction there and the implications of what that meant was really interesting. So that was a really good sequence right there. Um, I also liked how Elliot responded and was like, I'm going to, I'm just going to go take him out. And I had this really good image of, you know, Elliot like sitting up on a building and the dude steps out from like doing his job or something. And you just pow, because you're an ex assassin, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm like, Oh yeah, that's, that's going to happen at some point. I'm sure there's I don't know about X. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And, and shooting so, from the rooftop is more of a Boko move. I think this is smashing his head into the side of a building. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're that kind of assassin. Mm. Curb stopping. Oh. Cool. Yeah. I, I just to to follow on what you said about uh, the the kinds of job you're doing. Yeah. It with with this type of crew, when you're doing your job and doing it well, there's no one knows you were there and you didn't fight anyone or, or mm. it, it's kind of it, it's not as exciting so but I, I i appreciate that we we need to push a little bit to make uh to still make it tense and interesting and have you do fun things uh in in those types of missions but but you, with, with the 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 shadows the thing is that you don't want to get noticed, and when you do your jobs right, then no one knows you did it, basically. Uh, so let's... Is is it... I hadn't thought about it before, but is Blades built that way? Blades seems to really punish heat and, you know, the entanglement roles and, all, and going to prison and all that kind of stuff, and either Blades, the system is tell, is punishing you and talking about how bleak the world is, or it's saying, don't go beat stuff up because that gets you into a bad situation. Um, I think uh, we can circle back to that. I, I want to give uh, Kai a chance to give his uh, stars and wishes, but I have some thoughts uh, on that that I will give in a moment. Um, let's see. Star to Rich for um, speaking up about what he enjoyed and didn't enjoy, and um, to everybody else for making it an adult conversation. Um, and uh, I appreciate that. I um, uh, stars to um, Stephen for kind of like taking on like the the ex mandalorian character like i i used to have but like going in in different directions i'm really much happier <laughs> uh, i'm really glad to say that like it doesn't feel like there's any sort of duplication at all um i like i like that and um I really enjoyed the part where it's like, hi guys, I just got beaten up and interrogated. And they're like, everybody, they're pushing me in the corner. They're like, hey, 
<laughs> Tell us more. Uh, I thought that was just, I, I, that double interrogation concept. I like that a lot. Everything else someone has, has said. Um, also just like the, the joke that Elliot made to, to our guy about, yeah, we had to blow up your office too. <laughs> I was expecting him to say something like, you know, I had a, a, a classic baseball card or something in there, something like that. <laughs> um, uh, as well. Uh, so that was, that was, that was my stars. Um, wishes um i always forget to note the penalties that come with harm always lesser effect <laughs> lesser dice always uh please remind me that i am one die lower on everything related to my physical injury um as we play until that thing goes away. Thank you. Yeah, that is, it, it's a problem. And I'm not sure how to... For me, it's the same problem as also like position and effect. Like remembering mm -hmm. position and effect and remembering mm -hmm. injuries. It's like, the same problem as like plus one forward in PvPA yeah. games. It's like, oh, yeah. there's a plus or a minus or something. But like, I don't know, unless I have like a poker chip or something that says that in my hand i'm not gonna remember it yeah like um, if i, I were running this in a face-to-face -face, i'd have like a laminated thing that says like we should read this every time we make some dice rolls you know and have it say something like are there any injuries you know what is the position in effect you know right so and let me let me ask a question i don't know the uh dice roller as well um is there a way in the dice roller that you can have a banner or something like that so mm. whenever you go to roll the dice. It says, "Oh, don't forget you're down one die, or don't forget to ask for position and effect, or whatever the thing is." Well, we the, can put it in the our roller names. I chose the rolling room I chose doesn't have anything like that, but sticking on the character keeper somewhere might be. Yeah. If I typed in winger dash, did you remember injuries and position and effect? I would see that every time I rolled. <laughs> so <laughs> that would be that would be after the fact instead of before the fact. Yeah, it it is a a problem, and having like a, a checklist could help with that. And see mm -hmm. if I can figure something out. The problem is that you'd have to put it somewhere where you always look at it. Uh, and the re that's the reason I suggested the roller is because before yeah. you roll the dice, you have to yeah, look yeah. at that. But it might be good in the stats, mm -hmm. um, like before you roll stats, you have to look at them. So one thing you might do, Winger, is if you're down, change the color of your checkboxes from black to red or something like oh. that. So you know, oh, there's something going on here. Okay. Mm. I'll see what I can work. come up with. Uh, yeah, that, that could work, but it could also become something that if you're if you have harm for a long time, you just stop seeing it because yeah. you're you're used to it. Um, yeah, it's like alarms on machines for nurses. Yeah, like they hear them. They hear beeping all day. So, but those mm -hmm. are the two places I can think of that you look. You look to see what stat yeah. you would be rolling, and you look to roll the dice. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Like if I was building something in roll twenty, I can make it make you have to click through it each time, right? Right. You know, uh, that's yeah, actually yeah. how it you can set up in, the... in Scum and Villainy's roll twenty implementation. Uh, you can set up custom rolls in this one. So, like every time you roll whatever, and just put the penalty in there, but. I don't... I think that's a long okay. mm -hmm. Interesting. I could put try to put something with the result table because that's the one I oh, usually yeah. look at. But I don't always look at it before if, until after we roll the die. So, uh, but I could try to put put a checklist somewhere just to, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'll see if I can do something. Um, were you, do you feel stars. like you got everything there, Kai? Yeah, I'm done. Okay. So so the, the thing I wanted to circle back uh, about Blade is that I feel like, uh, and I have, some of this is, is things I've thought about before, and some of this is just bubbling up now with, with what Steven said. There is a tension between uh, doing the, the great Heist where everything works perfectly and doing the cool, desperate action stuff. 
Um, the caper it, versus the heist, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's mm. obviously, or, or I, I feel like it's obvious that you're, the characters should want, or the players, the characters should want to try to pull off the heist perfectly. Everything should work out great, um, but the it should that should rare very rarely be the case. You should usually end up either uh, things going awry and you have to try scramble to to uh, uh, make things uh, work out right, or uh, things really go sideways and you're just desperately trying to to uh, stay alive. Uh, but and that that's the short term thing. Um, also, Blades is set up to really punish the characters all the time. Uh, you are supposed to get ground down uh, a lot. Mm -hmm. Like you, you take stress and you need to deal with that. You take harm, you need to deal with that. The crew takes heat, you need to deal with that. Uh, all, all of those things are supposed to be. There's supposed to be too many things to juggle to to keep everything uh, working. Uh, so things should get get difficult uh, in various ways to to make the characters feel um, like they're in a, a, an untenable situation or at least an unstable situation. Um, I think I, I feel like that that's very intentional. But there are also things that push uh, that are there to push the players away from. Oh, let's just kill everyone. Uh, and in Blades, you have the ghosts, and you have the the bells that ring when someone gets killed. That that the the, and the ravens, I think. Like don't don't, don't bodies get circled by ravens as oh, well. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. The raven. Um, so there's there's supposed to be a tension where you're you're trying to do uh, the perfect heist. Uh, things will probably go wrong, but when things go wrong, you're still incentivized to solve them in uh, not just going straight to violence. Uh, and that's, I, I think that that's an, that's an interesting tension, uh, but it also pushes away from the pure action, the, 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 the fun action, uh, action stuff. Um, yeah. Please. Someone, uh, someone come in if you have. I really like the idea of a game that um, pushes against it being all combat, and I mm -hmm. think Blades does that well. Yeah. Um, it's just that it also punishes the. Uh, it, it, it's it's a bleak world, right? And it's showing that as well. Yeah. 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 Uh, and as I've said in in various discussions, I think in in other places, I think when a, a lot of the the bits in Blade that are set up to be punishing, I think when people hack Blades, they tend to bring along too much of that, mm. just because it's in Blades, so it should be in every Fortune Dark game. When I don't right. think that's the case at all. Um, that's a that's a different thing. Um, yeah, I'm not sure I had anything more there uh, right now, or if I'm just getting a bit tired. But uh... um, it would be a good idea though to make sure that everybody's bought into that. That you know, yeah, are we good with it being a you know stealthy kind of game and it being a punishing kind of game? I think that's what blades is yeah yeah well i mean we started all of this as like assassins mm -hmm. um and we didn't pay attention to to heat very much at all yeah <laughs> uh so yeah we we've seen the the ugly side of it before uh somewhat before your your first appearance on as it turns out um um, one of the things I noticed with the shadows or the playbook, the crew playbook that we have, is that we could also go towards a more sabotage type um, mission structure, which yeah. means there would be more action and combat there if that is what people mm -hmm. would like. Mm -hmm. You also have the option of uh, picking. There is 
um, uh, diverse tactics, uh, which is one of the upgrades you can take, which means if you take that, you get to add two methods to, to a list, mm. to your list of methods. So you could do, you could add some other things that you're also good at. Um, so, so you could can broaden your your repertoire of of, of jobs that right. uh, that you're uh, that you're uh, you're able to do competently. Um, My personal preference is is I like the challenge of making it not fighty all the time. Mm -hmm. It's still tension, yeah, and still full. But but, the, but there's also like, do you want to make it not fighty all of the time, or do you? Or, sorry, do you want to make it? not be fighty all of the time or do you want it to be not at all fighty like that's like the goal is to not have it be fighty at all like the, the that's the it, it, there's a difference between like mm. having fights sometimes and having not wanting to have fights at all uh, and um from my preference again is i don't like that the latter choice which is never being fighty because that mm -hmm. removes the tension for me mm -hmm. yeah yeah there's consequences to us failing, which is it. Everything escalates. Mm -hmm. What about the rest of you? Elliot is all in favor of fighting. What <laughs> 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 about Mark? <laughs> <laughs> I like a good mix. I, I think I think I, I like I like being competent enough to avoid it, and I like that the consequences are exciting. So I think like the just the way like the role structure works out like we're never we're, we're rarely going to get sixes across the board like there's always going to be complications and we're either going to get in trouble or stress out um so i like the i like the escalating like it's almost like a inevitable drive towards like some big some big things happening so mm -hmm. I, I think i think it works and sometimes it goes sometimes we just are just good at it and it goes pretty well <laughs> and sometimes we just like eat shit immediately <laughs> so yeah it's a good balance i think I think the the key point is, at least for me, if if I were running this game or a Blades game, is that I don't, and and for if and for my gameplay too, like I don't want to play um, an inept character. Mm -hmm. I don't want to have like like oh you rolled low so you tripped over your shoes or right. you know you yeah, immediately yeah. spilled the the truth about the situation and stuff like that. And I'm not saying that that's happened in this game. But I think knowing when to ask for roles and, you know, finding interesting ways to make failures not about uh, necessarily about like if someone had drugged me and then I started spilling the beans, that's one thing. Mm -hmm. But if I'm spilling the beans just because I really suck at being a criminal, that's a fiasco game. That's yeah. not a yeah, yeah, Blades yeah. in the Darks game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so just knowing that then when the tension rises and then when i have to actually kill somebody to take care of like uh my in, in my point of view the way to take care of like a situation then there's a ton more meaning um, mm -hmm. to it so um that's my point of view on it I, yeah, I, made, I, made I was honestly drivers. surprised that when you ended up with the shadows. Uh, sorry, Rich, you you want to say something? Uh, made a getaway driver, so I expected to get away from things. Mm. Meaning, not everything goes smooth. Mm -hmm. That's the short version. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean yeah. to cut you off. Nish. No, no, no. Uh, 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 yeah, I was honestly honestly surprised that you picked the shadows because it felt like the the crew that was most focused on the things that you seem the least interested in the last time around mm. uh, but uh, yeah it's uh, that, that's not a, that's not a criticism or, or a complaint it's just that mm. I, it, it surprised me a little bit. Um, but yeah it's it's interesting trying to come up with jobs for them because it's not It's different from 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 very different from from the last time, but that's probably just a, a question of uh, a habit for me. 
Anyway. Is there anything we can do to make that easier? Maybe we should add that as one of a wish from me is, you know, figure out how to make finding missions easier that would be more appealing. Um, yeah. um and that's not on you, that's on us. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you have ideas for for missions, please uh let me know. Mm -hmm. Um if you if you figure out oh this is something that feels like the sort of thing that we should be should be doing or should be able to do or or that sort of thing then i'm i'm more than happy to to uh take any suggestions there um otherwise i feel like i can come up with jobs but the 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 question is finding jobs that are things that your patron would want you to do that you're good at doing and that are interesting, all mm -hmm. those three together isn't necessarily uh, easy every time. Um, but yeah, we'll see. If we had like contacts that are like reaching out to us from the past for help, and those are jobs that we want to do, but that aren't necessarily for our boss, mm -hmm. um, that might help ease. Yeah. Like if we were to have more, uh, any if if any of our characters don't have the like background characters or a, more of a story or whatever, then that might be a way to get us new bosses, which might alleviate one of those three. Uh, Absolutely, that, that triangle of, yeah. of difficulty. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I, I asked before if you wanted to do a job for for someone else, but then you kind of wanted your your you wanted at least for to to start with to to do jobs for your patron, which is fine. Uh, but I think we we can we we can start to to widen that a little bit by like doing some other jobs or or doing stuff just for yourselves. Um, uh, yeah, cool. Um, Yeah, I think uh, I need to log off and uh, go to bed. So <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, all, all these discussions were were really good. Uh, I'm glad that we we talk about these sort of things uh, so that we can make sure that the game is uh, fun for everyone. Yeah, uh, because that's why we're here. Yay! Stop the recording. <laughs>